Hello! I'm finally back with Star Rail. This has already been a bit since we last played it again. <laughs> Getting a bit busy with stuff, sadly, but hey. So yeah. Really getting that many chances to hop back into these games and kind of, um, focus on a bit of story. But hey, that's life. <laughs> <laughs> Last time around, we did uh, play parts of the story with Rubber and this whole monkey mess, which is just like. Another fever dream. At least to me it is. And kind of also a big mess. But hey. We definitely want to continue with that and just see how, uh, how bad this will go. A short respite, then time. Also, let's put Rapper in the team again. Which I've been now fully built. Which is nice. Actually, when it comes to building characters, I'm currently on my last f uh, five star. Which has to be finished up to become to a usable state, which is Yanqing. <laughs> and after that, yeah, I've still quite a few four stars I can build. And I also could optimize quite a bit of like prices, uh, but hey. Oh, come on. Hey now, Mojo. Welcome back. And it's fine that we're in here for uh, for some time. I will leave up. <laughs> I just stream a bit more regularly on the English, uh, on like my Twitch channel, but I. Eh? Fail, fail, fail. You didn't capture stubborn banana monkeys. Five parts of laziness. Three parts cuteness and two parts playfulness at all. Honestly, I sometimes do too forget that I uh, that I have Twitch because I'm usually just using Twitch to stream myself, not watching other stream. <laughs> I'm way more active on YouTube, a lot more active. <sighs> but I'm already doing the best I can, Charmini Banana Visor. It's so hard to play a monkey. <sighs> An utter disappointment to the monkeys. <sighs> Maybe we should change the cast. Acting skills alone won't cut it. They need to adore Slumber Nana with every <laughs> fiber of their being. But now, yeah, do you like them? I also like to sometimes just play around with the movement over the years. It's just like fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I have like my moments, I'm just something selling there in the stream doing like this all the time. <laughs> Charmini mm. Banana Advisor, I have mm. a few candidates here. <laughs> Perhaps they will be to your liking. Oh, they seem to have potential. Banana Banana? I hope you don't leave me disappointed. I just want to beat up every of these, like, Is monkey robots. Is this evil robot. fiendling a dragon or a monkey? Monkey? No, I mean, uh, I'm a Charmony Banana Advisor. <sighs> How wonderful it is to have been scouted by Mr. Rekka. Have faith in a professional director's judgment. Have your scripts ready, actors. Show the banana advisor what you're capable of. That's kind of century you did so many are like that. Uh, 
But it was actually could like say the same of like my sub box on YouTube. I have like a lot of channels which haven't really uploaded in a long time. But there's also like some some channels in there which like upload very rarely, but when they upload stuff, they upload good stuff. <laughs> I'm not gonna read the script for a promotional video, thank you very much. Especially not from like made by these monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Sophisticated masterpieces thrive on simplicity. Uh, let's assign the actors to their roles then. Uh, the leading role of brave. <laughs> Monkey shall be. <gasps> Why did you leave us all? Mr. Rekka, I, I, I want to try this role again. <laughs> okay. Ooh, your earlier performance was disappointing enough. Not gonna lie, valid reason. <laughs> Although a very valid argument. When you're a kid, you do a lot of dumb stuff. It's fine. Let's give this proactive actress one more shot. Brave Monkey <laughs> is known for its can-do attitude too. I mean, you're Next the judge of that. I can't really monkey tell. Monkey who guides Brave Monkey. Your disposition makes you perfect for this role, Don Hung. As you wish. And finally, we have the villain, the Devil of Stress. I'm confident you'll nail it, superstar. <laughs> huh. I'm not sure since when I actually have my YouTube channel since I have it like from like very early on. But I might need like just use it to watch stuff and not like upload stuff myself. <clears throat> The role of a conflicted villain requires sublime acting. An improvised lines further demand a robust foundation in the art. You are the only one who can take on this most challenging role. Not so fast. What role do I play? Oh, it seems all the roles have been assigned. But yes, we'll need someone to narrate. Rapper, the narrator. This is your role. For <laughs> I feel like she could play the role more, more, at least in a more fucking way. Uh, so, I wasn't not the main. The main character can be like a big group boy. Yeah, so sometimes I'm like. Especially since like the main character is also like as a medium where you're supposed to like uh, relate yourself to and like um, project yourself onto him, but a lot of times I can't do that because like the main character is totally not acting like I would, <coughs> and I'm actually also not that. I'm actually also not that active on messages or Twitter or so really. Mostly I'm just like chilling and consuming stuff instead of like actually doing anything. <laughs> Besides now like streaming a lot on YouTube but I A lofty ninja hero relegated to the likes of a narrator? <sighs> so be it. We'll begin once everyone's ready. <laughs> it was quite a long the high. Assistant director's high. camera <laughs> is ready to roll. <laughs> what is a good time zone now? Fledgling actors, are you banana ready? Uh, I don't feel like I'm ready to go, go through this whole like monkey mess. Then get on stage, Mr. Rekka. Get the cameras rolling, Banana. 
Atos, take your positions. Three, two, one. Action! Dreamscape's glowing, gold hall's flowing, a legendary feast about to get going. Whoa, stop! What the damn nonsense are you reciting? <laughs> this is the ninja mantra. Embellishing words with ninja enchantments is bound to make the play a hundred times more vivid. <sighs> I knew this student wasn't reliable. Forget it. Focus on slumber and a monkey only. Nothing else matters. Uh, then I'll continue. Was a lot of other From the hearts there. of men, monsters arise. The banquet turns to scorch earth, laughter to cries. A passing hero lends a hand. <laughs> no surprise. I'm up next. I have to come up with something obnoxiously conceited. I was kind of a vibe, not gonna lie. Princess is through his railroads. Um. Hmm. What are we gonna go for? Uh, le let's play off rapper. Name's Devil of Stress. Straight out of hell. Students better quit playing. Ring the alarm bell. One word from me, the whole zone's in despair. Leaving scars so deep, take a lifetime to repair. Such a tyrannical rendition of the mantra of the ninja. Beast fall that ninja. Right. Oh, fail. This isn't a rap class. Why not? <laughs> ba -na, ba -na. Fail. Brave Monkey is the savior of our university. It would never utter such dainty Bana gibberish. So sorry, Bana. Let me try that again. Bana, Bana, Bana. Suffering and pain, the fruits of blind hate. <laughs> a hero draws a sword ready for the fight to break. Banah! You are messing it up again! Brave Monkey hasn't gained the power to defeat the devil of stress at this point! How what am I even watching? Have so much grit? So, so sorry, Bana. I'll try again. Bana! Bana! It's my turn now. I should say something demeaning to Brave Monkey. Okay, let's do the swear words this time around. Let's switch it up. Banap, <laughs> Give up on that banap, banap. Back to yours already, or I'm gonna banap, banap you upside down. Oh, mighty eon of the hunt. Such vile tongue lashing. Surpassing that of even evil ninja's aspidious curse. Fail. If I also like how, like, the censoring is banap, banap. You'll be penalized for breaking the school rules. Rules are meant to be broken. That's what he likes to say, so I truly care. <laughs> the heroes down and out, defeat hanging in the air, but in walks the master with wisdom to share. Bana! Oh, don't even play Bana, along there, don't harm, please. Bana, Bana. Bana. You! Your lines are fine. Go on. <laughs> Next line. Yeah, yeah. What's up? Thanks for it's clenching her wrath, Don I'm doing fine today. What about the you? The master's wisdom resonates to his core. The hero's blade sharper than ever before. Yesterday's loser is back in the fight. Fight or flight, evil doers think twice. It's my turn again. This time, I'll say something to taunt Brave Monkey. I'm not going for a rip again. Grit's worth a nod, but you're no less of a dud. Better learn how to flow or get lost in the flood. With me spitting power, a zillion times yours gonna have to concede or crawl home on all fours. Stellarly brutal! You've attained the skills of a semi-emanator when it comes to reciting the ninja mantra! <laughs> Real! We're in an acting class! Stop applying whatever you learned in music! How much time for the following is like is it going to complain? Fail, fail, fail. Stop filming, Mr. Rekka. 
None of them are cut out for portraying our beloved monkey, Finale. Wait! Please just give me one more! Second chances don't come around that often, girl! Please, I'm begging you! Being in one of Mr. Ricketts' films is my dream! Um, don't say that. If you want my opinion, there's nothing amiss with Ninja Nishia Gagaku's acting. In fact, you are being overly critical of her. <laughs> you think? Are you the banana advisor who grades her work, or the director who assigns her roles? It's up to me to assess my students' worth in this class! Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Let's stop filming, Mr. Rekka. We need to swap out the actors. Stop! No, not yet. The show still isn't over. Uh Banana! Banana! Not this again. It feels like I'm in a dream. Oh, please now. I don't want to be affected by the monkeys again. Are you all right? But... But... But now... Bena! 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 Looks like the Bena academics is taking effect. Do not like to hold my controlling stuff. Thanks to Slumber Nana Monkey, you'll soon be qualified actors. Uh, but now, just as I thought, uh, this is another snare laid down by the evil ninja. Hmm? Why are you still lucid? <gasps> Truly an incorrigible student. Nay, dinosaur fiendling. Your feeble sorcery stands no chance against my dazzling ninjutsu! <laughs> Watch me snap everyone back to their senses! Hiya! Dazzling palm, fight just chop! Then again! <laughs> your following ninja force search into your forehead once more, snapping out of your days. Judging by the recent sounds of impact, every ninja on stage received assistance, even the passing slam banana was giving a job. Yep, two jobs in one day. Ah. Stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, the stone heart of a ninja is immune to pressure, immune to lies, come wind, rain, or shine. <sighs> Never forget who you truly are, Ninja Nishia Kigaku. Uh, are we on to another film now? <gasps> is this going to be about ninjas? <laughs> no, but we've come to the climax of the film. Just a small swap among the roles. <laughs> Charmony Banana Advisor, you're up for the villain this time. I like that change. What are you eating? I said to stop filming. Stop filming! Cut! When you're on my set, I am the director. Already like Mr. Reckalo. Come, Come on up. now, dear actors. Let's salvage this lousy film with an electrifying fight scene. Huh. Great ninja minds think alike. <laughs> I agree. Yes, my favorite kind of episode. Yes. <laughs> Beating up the monkey. If you unruly students insist on disrupting my class, you're in for some corrective bananishment. Teach them a lesson, Assistant Annas. From this very moment, back down, <laughs> retreat. The hero says never. The way of the ninja burning in their heart forever. With fiendling blood, the sword of justice will be stained as the school will cast off every shackle, every chain. Hey! Do I really have to fight too? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
hope not. <laughs> Away by the wind. Dreams do come true. I can do this. Yes. Uh, I'm not really need to be get that. Evil leap at once. Ha, please. A pretty super break damage. Wicked, tongues, wicked vibes, strong, all of them no. destroyed. Say goodbye to evil plot strategies and ploys. The life of the party, savior of the school. Let's hear it for the hero here to keep it cool. Ninja Nishikagaku, deliver your final line. <laughs> but for now, catch that evil thing. Your vile words cannot bring Ninja Initiate Gagaku down. It's victory for us ninjas. Hey, yeah. Huh. This one has ceased operating as well. Finally. It's as if some unseen puppeteer cut its strings. Mm. Ninja Gamma, can you kindly enlighten us on the proceedings thus far? <laughs> so you actors have caught on. <laughs> of course, yeah. Let me reveal the next act in the plot then. We'll be exploring the misdeeds going down at Paper Fold University. Finally, gonna clean up this mess. All yes. right, now, dear actors, ever heard of a mimetic virus? Is that what Slumber Nana Monkey is? You're right. Mimetic corruption comes about from the dissemination of data. It alters particles of information picked up by the cognitive module, skewing the sensory perception of certain objects in those that have been corrupted. Much like special effects in a film. Mm -hmm. Words, songs, videos, these are all mediums of transmission. Humans naturally have a curiosity for the unknown, and mimetic viruses take advantage of this. Okay, I kind of sense a bit of like, but in there's some let's say there's some parallels to what like the Yosh of corruption did. Uh, can I never heard? Mimetic corruption is known to influence one's thoughts even in the real world and in the dreamscape. They catalyze nightmares that corrupt humans into monkeys. Hence, the evil ninja instructs the evil fiendlings to spread through media, masking it as entertainment to implant the seeds of dark sorcery in the hearts of the ninja initiates. Misappropriating the role of actual educators gave them the perfect chance to mangle the minds of innocent ninja initiates, only to hasten the growth of those fiendish seeds they sowed. And so, all ninja initiates of Paper Fold Town will succumb to fiendishness, becoming puppets of the evil ninja. What a despiteous, degenerate, and dastardly ploy! Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> are these lines in the script? This actor's lines may be somewhat cryptic, but yes. The general plot direction is on point. But, Ninja Gamma, why are you bogged down by an action when you've long realized the truth behind their pretense? I'm just a director that stumbled upon a sinister plan. A reckless move on my part can bring dire consequences. It is up to very important stars like you to defeat that hell kite of a villain. These okay. banana advisors were appointed by the acting dean, Prof Nana. I believe I don't have to make this any more explicit. Go to the dean's office to find the answers you seek. Oh, and keep me updated on how the plot unfolds. <laughs> uh, what about my part? Do I still have any scenes coming up? You're keen about appearing in my films, aren't you? Come over here and choose a script. <laughs> Can I really? Thank you so much! 
Okay, that was. Castle showdown looms ahead of us, fellow ninjas. I like we are to make haste with ninja speed. Um. Okay, can it? We're actually like beating up the, the 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 director. Finally, like clear up this whole mess because I'm not gonna lie, this whole monkey banana nana stuff is just really annoying me, to be honest. Just being quite annoyed by this whole bloodline. Look at you, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Finally got a bird. How many more do I have to find, actually? Like a big cutting here, but okay. Mm, come on, don't talk so much. I didn't want to hear about your words, just wanted to check how much more I need. I like your kind of button mesh throw this. It's really not leaving button mesh for it. from like the map as such. Oh, I see it from the map. Ah. Eight more. Uh, there's a lot of them hidden in here, Jesus. Yeah. I've been to the office here, so I'm getting there's at least one here as well. Ah, yeah, I see it. Ah, what a surprise, my dear students. Hmm. No appointment or a polite knock on the door, but I welcome you, but nonetheless. Cease the shady evasion! I urge you to come clean now. You're evil Ninja Osaru's fiendling chief, aren't you? Uh... It. Uh, excuse me, dear student. Could you help me translate that? <laughs> The short story is that a memetic virus has broken loose in Paperfold University. It's going around infecting the students' minds as we speak. Slumber Nana Monkey is that virus, Prof Nana. And its transmission was orchestrated by none other than your banana advisors. <sighs> I thought this class would last a little longer than this. Your confession came sooner than we expected. So, is this one of Dr. Primitive's schemes? A scheme? But nah. 
You're thinking too highly of this place. Panacone is nothing but a cesspool of riches. It will never be worthy of the great doctor's sublime experiments on humans. Hmm. Here, it's just me. A second-class research aide working in Penacone on my graduation thesis. An atavistic experiment centered around mimetic entities. My research is going along smoothly. People here adore slumber, Nana Monkey. Especially students from the youth demographic group. Soon, they'll create a new synesthesia dreamscape. The moment of slumber, Nana, and foster its growth, expansion, and evolution. Yeah, I don't like the sound of that. Endless atrocities that Osaro unleashed onto the world. Just to build an evil realm where a hundred malevolent spirits prowl at night? What the... Girl, I cannot begin to fathom your cryptic speech. It doesn't sound like you're speaking ill of me. Or are you? I like it how totally not understand, sir. <laughs> Ordinary folks will never understand the great cause of our atavistic experiment. How about a pop quiz before I clarify your doubts? Who knows how bananas reproduce? Speaking of the fruit? I think... Uh, but since they actually come from trees, it would actually be a thing like of saplings, but probably not for pollinate. To maintain their taste, the majority of commercial bananas are produced through asexual reproduction. Lacking seeds and pollen, they are grown from the same rhizome. Yeah, I already was wondering anyway because like both seeds and pollen sounded wrong. That's why I was a bit confused. Hmm. That's correct. Five amber eras ago, the Intelligentsia Guild cultivated a banana species that humans deemed perfect. The Golden Slumber Nana. The Golden Slumber Nana swiftly dominated the food market. Nutritious. Sweet. And its peel gives off a mesmerizing golden sheen. It transformed every interstellar banana plantation into a spectacle akin to the golden hour at night. Yeah, I could see that happen. Mm -hmm. But it eventually became extinct, didn't it? Exactly. Because it was cultivated by humans, the slumber nana lacked room for evolution. Having the same set of genes also meant sharing the same vulnerabilities. And when a fatal cosmic fungus wormed its way into the production line, yeah. the same yeah. banana species that reigned over all the others of its kind was scrubbed clean from the entire cosmos in just mere months. Are you saying that humans will suffer the same fate? Of course! The Golden Slumber Nana's predecessor was the highly reproductive Jade Green Banana. If not for human intervention, it would have blossomed much more vibrantly over the years. Much like Penacone as we know it. It's a pity those on Penacone just had to be second-rate copycats. What with constructing skyscrapers, building cities, printing currencies, and even making the decision to become like the other cogs in the cosmic marketplace. Hmm. Following the exact path of the Golden Slumber Nana, stubbornly holding on to the status quo, creating fatal vulnerabilities for themselves, and ultimately becoming useless. Interesting. Having undergone a flawed banana enlightenment, the doctor seeks to return these misguided worlds to their embryonic potential, giving them a fresh chance to develop. This is the atavistic experiment. Hmm. I understand the moderation, though. Uh, uh. Hmm. Not really sure what to make of it, though. However, I have visited those planets. 
As I traveled from one planet to the other, a prevalent but unpalatable observation struck me. Not a single ninja could speak. They had all become fiendlings. <sighs> but I know for a fact that they were not born this way. The monkey that scurried past you was once a sailor. He knew how to ferment his own wine and would do so regularly. The one in the distance, fighting with the other monkeys over a piece of fruit, used to be the smartest person on his planet. Even having the knowledge to send people soaring into the sky. But from now on, they're monkeys. Just monkeys. Am I imagining things, or did you learn how to speak like a normal person? <laughs> or could it be that this familiar scene reminded you of your past? Given the doctor's brilliant mind, his ambitions are lofty and are sure to be realized. But the commoners, <laughs> all they do is lose themselves in unrealistic fantasies, becoming an impediment to a civilization's evolutionary progress. Whether imbued with life or not, everything ought to be used to its full potential. Oh, how long has it been now? I'm surprised that lesson hasn't stuck. Doctor's failed creation. <clears throat> Your scheme ends here. Oh, is that so? Ever Thank considered you. why I allowed you to do as you please on campus? Even going as far as to guide you to me. Paperfold University is nothing more than an incubator. No great loss if discarded. But if it can eradicate the pests in the lab, then it'd be used to its full potential. Banana, banana. That's all I have for you. Class dismissed. What does Just he what do? you think you're doing, Memo Keeper? <gasps> oh! Another Memo Keeper! Ah. Okay, but it would fit his whole film stuff. His whole film gimmick. It is, in a way, preserving history. I've already met all your demands, dearest producer. Please hold up your end of the deal as we've agreed. Lift this abominable curse that stifles my artistic expression. Demands? I'm afraid not, Mr. Becker. Until you hand over those incorrigible and willful monkeys, you have not met all of my demands. But that's not our deal. I went to great lengths to help you infiltrate the school, disrupted the family's surveillance, and even dealt with the ranger who was causing you the most trouble. And now you want me to give up ownership of the actors? We're talking exceptional talents that are incredibly rare to come by. They have so many more stories waiting to be unearthed. I can't allow their journey to end here. Mr. Rekka, there is no room for negotiation here. I have no need to negotiate with a captive. If you don't acquiesce, then in less than three system hours, you'll turn into a slumber nana monkey like those students. 
Hand them over now if your directing career even means anything to you. Hmm. No. I refuse. Prof. Nana, have you ever wondered why I ended up under your control? Tracking down the doctor's whereabouts shows you have some skill. However, believing you could follow us unnoticed was quite presumptuous, wasn't it? Even if we were to need animals for our experiment, you're nowhere near qualified, great director. What a pity. I put my life on the line just so I could make this wonderful film a reality. I decided a long time ago that I'd do anything for art. So your threat means nothing to me. Hmm. Every film crew knows full well the risks they run the moment filming begins. And in turn, a dedicated director would never stop rolling the cameras. Even if it meant having to insert an obelisk next to a crew or cast member's name in the credits. In the end, you too are just a pitiable monkey, struggling for worthless dreams. Be prepared to sacrifice yourself then. And was saying. What's, what's up with this rock, ready? Hatred is the frailty of the weak. Fucking banana. That line again. And that is everything that Slumber Nana Monkey taught me. Think about this, everyone. The emotions we experience, be it joy, sadness, or an epiphany, every one of them is produced from a subtle shift in chemical composition within this vessel of ours. With some manipulation, we should be able to easily create or erase emotions. That means triggering a sudden change in your own temperament isn't out of the question. So here's my conclusion. Even if a behavior is generated after thorough deliberation, it is no more sophisticated than the simple act of jumping. Huh? I'm full of horse manure. I'm checking somewhere else. Huh? Wait! Oh, where are you going? It wasn't easy to get in. So don't do anything that'll draw unnecessary attention. At least stop pointing your gun at people. <laughs> I appreciate it, nameless gal. You have uh, quite the authority around here, huh? Has the uh, Astral Express begun to take on monkeys? I wasn't expecting that either. But the assistant Anna's insist, I'm a great talent. They even gave me a membership card with a high level of clearance. Oh, I hey, think this would be good for us. Talented for a club that advocates the abandonment of all thought? Ain't wrong, am I? You were so darn mesmerized by their speech back there. Oh, well, I was just listening to what they had to say it's not like they managed to convince me anyway plus if they don't talk in rhyme it's probably just nonsense <laughs> Why not in so rhyme? what brought you here you don't look like you're a fan of these monkeys why not galaxy rangers are forking monkey fans <laughs> we go bananas at the mere sight of them i gotta know that so He's on the hunt for some kind of fugitive? That explains why he's dressed like a sheriff. Uh, no, no. I guess you could say he is a fugitive. <laughs> what? <laughs> yada, yada. Tell her my last story, then. I'm gonna go check the place out. Hmm. Okay, I can explore. This is the. 
Why was this place angle to you where it Not a single thing around here makes sense. This is downright bananas. I mean, it's Pentagoni for you. Hey, nameless gal. Can we have a little talk over yonder? Uh, just me? Why can't we just talk here? Um, it's okay. You guys go ahead. I'll wait for you over there, Farch. What I don't know, there was still a hint of no in Montana's expression. As you what are you out. up to? I only just convinced her everything's fine, you know. Awful chummy with someone you just met, ain't you, friendo? Alright, great nameless one. Drop the act already. What's the deal on your side? When did you guys start laying eyes on Dr. Primitive? Dr. Primitive? Alright, I don't think she knows about Dr. Primitive, but uh, well, at least it's near the explanation on Hunger Games. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let's swap intel then. You first. <laughs> I don't take much uh, time to tell Dr. Primitive stories. Oh, I see. Uh huh. Exactly as we suspected. Yeah, sure, exactly as you expected, Marge. Sure. So, did you find anything at Dreamflux Reef? Uh, there ain't a thing here. But who cares? Seen this plenty of times. There's only one solution. We've all rid this rodeo, so I reckon I don't need to spell it out. Um, yes. I totally agree. <laughs> she has totally no clue. Oh, sweet. All right then. Uh, help to tear me become this place a high-ranking member. <laughs> uh, oh, huh. uh, uh, I was just trying to make a joke, but you took it even further. You're ruffling my bananas now. That wasn't a joke. If it were the IPC lackeys, I'd have them lined up right this instant for a one-way ticket to the other side. But they only planted kids in this place. I can't be using my ways on them. It's not the first time Dr. Primitives use others as scapegoats. I ain't gonna step on the same rate twice. But aren't you doing that right now? Falling for the trap? <laughs> Never seen a squib load. When timed right, it's more effective than unloading a full clip. Uh huh. Now, I got no clue what kind of monkey business this club's up to, but I know from the static noise at Dreamflux Reef that they're sure as heck interested in Pentaconi. They'll definitely step in if we raise the roof off of this place. Unless you've got a better idea you can think of. Let's do it my way, star member. Uh, I do have an idea. Sort of. Uh, just hold your horses. And let's go back and meet Montana first. Remember, be nice. So he's like one of the sheep on the wants to go the infra trading world. He wants to go like the uh, let's break all hell loose world. Fair enough. Kind of what you would expect. Aww, why did it run off? Aww, I wanted to play with it too. March, you're finally back! Yeah, uh, let's do this again. The right way. This is Boot Hill. You guys started off on the wrong foot. He is actually a really nice person. Did I miss a chance here? <clears throat> You guys are off on the wrong boot. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah. <sighs> Why did I even make that bad fun? <laughs> uh. Oh, don't worry. 
worry about me. I thought about it earlier. Patagoni sees a ton of visitors and transiting travelers. It's only normal to meet people of all sorts of background here. Yeah, I was wanted on a few occasions, too. Uh, maybe a dozen times? Uh, never mind. That's not important now. <laughs> You're not helping me out. Let's talk about the Slumber Nana Association. There's an important seminar scheduled for today, right? Are we in time for that? Oh, March! You remembered wrong again. This is far grander than a seminar? I guess you could call it a theophany? What's a theophany? In just a bit, we'll get to see the actual slumber nano monkey in the flesh. Holy bananas. There are rip-offs of this thing. <laughs> That's not it. Slumber Nana Monkey went viral overnight, but people have different opinions on how the fad began. No matter what people choose to believe, there has to be a Slumber Nana Monkey that started it all, and we're about to see it! The original Slumber Nana Monkey in all its unfiltered glory, free from all sorts of stereotypes. Uh, uh, I'm not quite following, but it sounds impressive, I guess. We have a few other students from campus who attended a few theophanies before. What did they say about it? Nothing really, but they had this look. Um, like they'd been to the world's end. Every single one of them looked like they were in a state of absolute bliss. I want to feel like that too. Well, ain't that something? I reckon I gotta see it myself. Still got a bit to wait, huh? Uh, I don't hey, want to wait longer, though. Where are you heading off to again? Just wanted this to be over quickly. So why are you in that crate? Huh. Well, I never really paid too much attention about it, but the buff has the golden hour. At least it looks like it, though. It wouldn't make m much sense in how the theaters plays, to be honest. All right. Hmm. Ah. Let's continue the story. <laughs> and down there with cute patch pat boys with metis lemon and monkeys. Okay. Hey, you can see me, right? But now, but now, but now. <sighs> when Sartre is unbroke, the pen, she read his mind and then fell silent. Okay. So they are like, people are just too far gone and about to like, Prince Holm, I guess? Hey there, pal. Banana. Banana. Banana? Sartre's great, but exactly sets him apart in the crowd. Looked over. And the clarity in his eyes was as much. It seems this person isn't planning to respond. What's this now? Watching TV gotta be this complicated. <laughs> oh, you're back! I thought that watching TV uh, though. That Montana told us about. The only way to see Slumber Nana Monkey is apparently through forming some kind of connection with the Assistant Nana. Thank you for waiting. Oh, another member hoping to see Slumber Nana Monkey? No, nah, not a member wanting to be. No, young. not her. Just me. Ah, <sighs> trying to worm your way in again, huh? But you won't be able to establish a connection if you know nothing about Slumber Nana Monkey. You look 
Unfamiliar. But you don't seem like a regular member either. <laughs> That's right. Been told I'm quite talented. Huh? What talent do you have? Fighting with a gun? I'm Denisovan 244. March 7th. Oh, it's you! Yes, I've heard about you. You have the potential to truly reach the source. Please, come over to me. Uh, not so fast. What are you up to this time? The dimmer of us two place a bait. The other gets ready to fight. Keep watch outside. Talented. <laughs> Maybe. It? I mean, he is in the galaxy ranger for nothing. Without faded away, unfortunately, the sensory isolation happened too quickly. He didn't have the time to hear the girl's question and reconsider his adventure. The answer is simple, Miss. This gentleman here. He wants to visit the past more than anyone else in the room. The past? Hmm. What's the big fudging idea here? Is this all there is? We meet again, sir. <laughs> I've seen run-down saloons fancier than this place. You call this a theophany? Crafting an attractive but deceptive vision is a crude method, entirely opposite to the values that the Slumber Nana Monkey aims to share with people. Many other members before you have come here seeking something, but these tend to be the usual truth, happiness, peace, and the like. Unfortunately, there are no answers here, only one question. Will this make you worse off? What is this fudging nonsense? I've been running the entire time. Patience. I will explain everything in detail. For example, if I asked you to give up malt juice, what would be your first thought? You want to get a drink before that, won't you? That should be the exact thought in your head right now. Huh? Don't pull that nonsense on me. A classic will always be a classic. Now, hold on there, partner. Sometimes, you gotta try something new. Why are these two men making good Introspection is key. No matter the hour. <laughs> you see, these are the thoughts that come to your mind when you were given that question. Sadly, it appears that whichever option you choose, there will be some lingering regret. With that, let's go on to imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. And I guess up to both the two streams of four when she instantly if the leaving dependence no behind. on the drink was never there to begin with this problem would naturally not exist and the resulting thoughts would also disappear here's a question will this make you worse off <sighs> question is bring yes what's gone into me he's right I I don't have the urge to drink at all. <sighs> Messing around in my head like that. No wonder the synesthesia beacon's all screwed up. <sighs> no. This busted thing can't do it alone. So who's the scoundrel behind all this? Move 
Moving on. Let's turn our attention toward issues that are a little more um, complicated. IPC. Say your hatred for the IPC. I see. That is one vast and endless wall of rage you have there. Since you know, think before you speak. Don't go asking for trouble, you banana. Calm yourself. Slumber Nana Monkey wouldn't preach about forgiveness or burying the hatchet. Now that's something even I'd find annoying. Instead, it it supports you taking vengeance into your own hands, just like this. Enjoying yourself? Come on, let's do this. Let's do it. <laughs> Eternal. I'm not afraid of cool, Take your positions. Away by the wind. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> There's your reward. Grace and elegance. Taking aim at phony targets gonna get your blood pumping? <laughs> I understand. But venting your anger can help relieve the tension you built up. And when that happens, you'll be less averse to accepting unpalatable advice. Now, just like before, imagine a scenario that doesn't hold true in reality. For a person who has made revenge their sole purpose in life. Hey there, Rainbow. What would Welcome happen to if their hatred were to vanish? Will this make you worse off? Yes. Rotten bananas. What wacky theory are you trying to prove? Well, what the heck? Actually feel pretty good right now. I, yeah. If you're asking about Who like the fight with Sunday and such, I'm already revenge. way past that. I'm currently like doing the the rapper story part with the whole monkey shenanigans. Excellent. You're very perceptive. Let's move on to the next lesson then. Galaxy Ranger. I know very well hatred isn't something that can be easily erased. This will be your toughest lesson. But I'll be with you throughout. Now then. No connection for getting the ties to the world.
Will this make you worse off, Mr. Ranger? Oh, I wait, but as a character, no. We can't play with a Sunday yet. I'm not actually sure if they plan on letting you have Sunday because you got Robin. So yes, you you can have Robin in your party, but not Sunday. The type of moment, and the man named Buddha knows it well. However, the man it was once known as Buddha. <laughs> I ain't quite sure what you're talking about, but you sure seem mighty fascinating. And nice to meet you, partner. What's your name? D this isn't the first time we've met, but you can call me Prof Nana Fremon. Uh. Oh, a cultured soul then. No, I'm just a research aide. And you, you'll soon be mentioned in my research report. What does he want to Handling do? Handling the commotion at the university is easy. Main concern has always been here, Dreamflux Reef. If it weren't for the need to eliminate you as a variable, I wouldn't have purposely slowed down. As we was after Buddha the entire time. The class here has come to an end. Get a move on, dear student. I'll be waiting for you at the end to unveil a new chapter of your life. <laughs> Will we embrace a new life? I do hope not. Erudition is but an affliction that the average person cannot bear. Losing it will not make you any worse off. A dead banana society? What the hell? What's that? Getting quest? these colors Hit. will not make you any worse off. Ah, uh, we're bit by bit losing our individual senses, you could say. Sound will only introduce frustration and anxiety. Okay, take care, I cook in. Eh? Thanks for the breath. Wait, there was another. Ah, okay, it was just more redacted stuff. Okay. Darkness developed after being in silence. Even though no sound could be heard, it was easy to imagine what words were echoed in that moment. If you lose the ability to see, you won't be any less happy. No matter how you look at it, the man was always one step behind. The trap he willingly walked into extinguished the very firepower he intended to use. Just after finding his nemesis, his fate was clear. Just like those who were once human, he too would transform into a monkey. Ah, <sighs> Buddha. Unfortunately, the sense of pain remains whenever or wherever it's appropriate to use it to bring someone back to their senses. Hey, wake up! Wake up! Wait, much can also like use this job to wake people up from the monkey stage, just like Rafa does. I made it in time. Thank goodness you didn't end up like that. What happened? Uh, no time to explain. Hurry, I need your help. I'll go wake Montana. Hurry! <laughs> Wait. What's going on? This is my grace, Miss Nameless. As for your ranger friend, though, you just single-handedly destroyed his path to happiness. Uh, 
I would just say she just saved Don't them. Come any closer. Naturally. Resorting to violence is not my intention. I'm only here to prove something, not to subjugate. Prove what? To prove that my viewpoint is in line with the desires of humans. Montana? March 7th? What are you trying to do? Uh, gosh, Montana! Don't you see what's going on? The bad guy's the one behind you! How could you say that? And here, I thought you loved Slumber Nana Monkey from the bottom of your heart! Y you Banna? Oh, Montana. Uh, I think... Let's get out of this place now. Hurry! As you wish. I look forward to you providing the last link in my proof. Hmm. Uh, you're a sicko! Oh, I agree with that. Uh, this way! Why do you seem so out of it? Haven't you woken up yet? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like no, he hasn't come ready yet, yeah. Bana... Bana... Bana? Uh, what's your problem? Why are you blocking our way? You're free to leave if you wish. But not with my subject. He's still under observation. Your subject? Mm-hmm. Unlike typical humans, his modified body is impervious to physical deterioration. With a steely grit and determination that never wavers, he can easily resist all forms of corruption. Why is he resisting the red ah, virus? A ranger like him. It'll be worthwhile to see what I can turn him into. Uh... Let me guess. You want to call for help right away because you're convinced these monkeys, formerly humans who have lost their minds, are under my command. If that's the case, why do you believe that you really woke up the ranger? Uh... That can't be right. Mr. Galaxy Ranger, would you please fire a shot at this young lady? Uh, hey! Her, um, her return, she had prepared for the worst. Even if she saw a slumber and a monkey aiming a gun at her and putting a trigger, she wouldn't be too surprised. However, Buddha's response was hardly under expectations. But, sir. Killing folks is against the law, especially when it's a lovely lady like her. Huh? Okay. The fuck? Accompanied by an unusual tone of voice, what appeared before March 7 was a fantastic scene that could only exist in the realm of memories. I'm the star of the show now. Uh, all because of this here gun. Oh, it's a nice gun, all right, but using it to take a life, I have no such intention. How about the two of you settle your own scores while I'll be on my way? You? Wait a minute. Is this what you wanted me to see? That's right. This is merely a hollow dream. So even if they turned into monkeys here, their physical bodies in the real world will not be subjected to any biological deterioration. Hmm. The ranger's extraordinarily staunch and unyielding mind made him an even more valuable specimen to be studied. His mind hasn't been completely wiped out. Instead, he is neither a monkey nor is he a galaxy ranger. He's a young boot hill, one from many years back. Back when his homeland hadn't been ravaged, when he lived as a carefree child in the grasslands. Okay. 
So he did regress a bit, but not even to a monkey state. A partial regression. How very interesting indeed. If memory serves, this version I didn't of is at least ten much. years removed from the older Boot Hill when he first fired a shot at a bandit. Just chilling, really. Miraculous. Be it the Sweet Dreams troop or myself, he can end it all with just one shot. But it just so happens that the decision to pull the trigger has to be made by his soul rather than his body. I'm doing good. The child version of him now is completely incapable of firing his own gun. All right, Mr. Cowboy, come to me. Let's finish your final lesson now. Going fast, far, I would say. Even mm. though there's like a lot of monkey shenanigans going on. A galaxy ranger that stands on the side of Dr. Primitive. A traitor born from nurture. This warrants several more research papers. Mm. Dreams. Oh, I didn't physically regress, it really was just a mind thing. Uh, hey! Don't go over there! I can see a few games I play on Twitch uh, sometimes under the stream. But there's also a whole lot more I do on YouTube. Be quiet, young lady. And mind your manners while class is in progress. So tell you what I meant. Are really gonna accept this teaching star? Am I dreaming? Uh, yeah, you are. Yes, of course. This dream is based off your memories. What do you last remember? Were you herding or chopping firewood? Neither of those. I was eating some piping hot stew. Huh. Well, that's strange. How did I fall asleep? Well, there's a lot of things I should be doing. I, I guess Nick's gonna kick me awake soon. <laughs> you haven't brought up that name in quite a while. But I suppose that's only right, considering where you are on the timeline. For you at this point, Based on Edward, everything the IPC you. does is still in a far-off future. <laughs> what a strange dream. Everything sounds like nonsense. It doesn't matter. It's time for you to come back to reality. How does it feel? Does waking up from a dream bring you misery? Misery? Why, no. <laughs> it's a shame you're stuck in a dream. Can't lay eyes on the land I love. It's so gorgeous. And you'd be willing to die. Right there. It's hard to believe someone so young would use that kind of analogy. <sighs> Ain't nothing strange about that. People gotta find ways to soothe their souls. Part of that's coming to terms with life and death. There's a saying from Aragon of Partial. Death is the fairest form of grace. Have you heard of Eric and Apasha before? I'm guessing this is home planet? Or... I'm guessing it is his home planet, maybe. For the good-hearted, death keeps their purity intact. For the cunning scoundrels, death ends things clean and quick. I see. Does that mean you're not afraid of death? If so, please extend your hand out for me. I suppose you're perfectly willing to apply the fairest form of grace to every corner of the universe? In the name of Dr. Primitive, that is. This is my final lesson for you. You shall thoroughly understand his philosophy. And with that, a star will pitifully fizzle out. Hmm. 
Hmm. No problem, teacher. But uh, there's something else I have to tell you. I was worried about missing my shot. But now that I've gotten a hold of you, I reckon I won't. What? Oh. How is this possible? The regression should have occurred already. Whew. You want to know something? I was worried I had it all wrong just now. But now, there ain't no problem. Because only an evildoer asks why before he dies. I ain't deaf, all right? Well, you were yapping so loud. Did it ever cross your mind I could tell good from evil? Huh? It's as Nick said, revenge needs no excuses. Just like how there's one thing in the world that doesn't need to be taught. Taking a shot at bad guys. <laughs> How did things take such a turn? You're just a child! Even for someone born with a bad nature, the first time doing something like this should weigh heavily on their conscience! Huh. Is that so? Well, I reckon you got that wrong. Be it a wanted criminal with the blood of many on their hands, or... A young cowboy who's never fired a gun. Both share a common instinct in every sense of the word. And that's to put a bullet in anything evil. Muddle butcher. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. I'll let you in on a secret, little fudgehead. For tampering with my synesthesia feet. I'm gonna put a bullet in I think this is the fault of Beacon talking. <laughs> no, sure, Paul. I actually mean it. Death is the fairest form of grace. Especially for motherfuckers like you. We'll only become worse forms of evil with time. So, this is the warmth of life. Oh, you stand still. <laughs> There's no reason with those with the low gun. Those dig the little grave. Also, what do his decks do again? Oh, you haven't played him before. I guess you're not singing to me. Your positions. Dreams do come true. Let's do it. There's more to life. <laughs> Every petal oh. will be swept away by the wind. Stay get that. Stay hit. Waiting in line for a bring it on. Take your position. <laughs> and there's more. Let's do it. There's no reason in those with a low gun. Those ridiculous grave. Existence uh, is again. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all. Mood is set. Let the show begin. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Remember the aim in the heart. I'm scared. Stay put. So this stay is the step. warmth of life. Let's improvise. Oh, stand still. Bring it on. 
There's no reasoning with you, those with the low gun, those who dig the low grave. Get them! Waiting in line for a bull, let's duel! Some value, I suppose. Get them! Take your position. Dreams do come true. Come on. That's another good thing about dying. Whatever your excuses and ideas are, I ain't gotta waste time listening to them. <laughs> oh, uh, am I late? Are you referring to what's finished or what's only just beginning? The one that's about to begin? Oh, oh right. I should go get help. You need to get your head checked, like, right now. <laughs> get my head checked? What in forking hell are... Huh? My synesthesia beacon's back to normal. Dagnabbit! <laughs> That's forking amazing! Hot diggity fudge! Uh-huh. It's her again! So, you're saying everything went back to normal once you smashed this thing to pieces? Uh, I see. No wonder those assistant Annas only want to teach students one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I had a hunch. Sometimes it's just dead simple. Don't gotta be a genius. Follow me, Nameless. No need for reinforcements, seeing as how a few bullets will clear this up. Forking hell. You think you can find a better shot than me and Pentaconi? Hmm... Not sure, actually. That's right, fellow members. Everything that's about to happen next isn't the end for us. With Dreamflux Reef as our starting point, a beautiful world shall descend upon all, and he will eventually cast his gaze upon us and the grand cause that we've forged together. I do want to eject the gaze of you. Grand in what way, muddle fudger? All right, folks, eyes on me. Now listen here. This whole thing's a muddle fudger scheme. Go, scurry off and hide. Ain't no harm in being foolish, but no one to steer clear. <laughs> you two again. I can forget everything else you've done. But slandering the name of Slumber Nana Monkey before Prof Nana Primon? Do you even know what you're doing? Yep. Montana, would you please just hear me out? Save it. Do you really think you can still convince him? Mr. Ranger, perhaps going back to our origin. Who asked you? I'm only gonna say this once. I ain't interested in hearing your philosophies, your sob stories. You're a dastardly evildoer who will cease to exist once a bullet's put into you. <laughs> Guess what? I just so happen to be holding a gun right now. Since everything's turned out to be so simple, there's no need to use too much of my intellect. Catch my drift. See, I'm not here to teach a class, shirt brain. I've come to help. Class is over! Okay, when it comes to short and he really is good. How's this for You're really doing the Matrix thing? Oh wow. Where you go? It 
what are you doing? Why is this getting red? Previously on Cosmic Ninja 2 inscriptions. Destiny elongates time, in the same way ramen noodles are stretched. The ninja capital has turned into an abyssal hell under the devastation of evil ninja Osaru. Even the mighty Lan would rather close their eyes to the capital's sorry state and let out a long sigh. The only remaining ninja, Dazzling Ninja, aka Rappa, has trained an entire decade under the tutelage of Master Kucha to be adept in a wide variety of ninjutsu, gaining also the ability to recite lengthy mantras fluently. But deep down, Master Kucha is aware that it is only when Rappa receives the tutelage of other ninja heroes and embarks upon the paramount way of the ninja as dazzling ninja can she save the entire ninja capital. In the darkest hour of the night, a falling meteor streaks across the sky, marking the graduation of ninja initiate Rappa and her new identity as ninja hero Rappa. Okay. As every night folk, the streets are colorless, save for the neon signs scattered about. The splendid hues of dazzling ninja's ears and the swift silhouette of the dazzling ninja herself. Not gonna lie, really cool artwork. This looks already cool. What's scattered on the ground, like garbage bags, are not plastic garbage. Instead, they are the lackeys of your sorrow, the one casting the shadows in front of the dazzling ninja. It's not a dead spirit, but rather an unknown visitor who exudes a powerful and suppressive power. Greetings. Who might you be? My pleasure to make your acquaintance too. We are ninja heroes who have received the true teachings of the hunt. We come forth to punish evil ninja Osaru. Who said? Ninja hero? Huh. It seems that my trial has finally come to an end. Trial? The final trial of the Mako Age. Destroy the Matrix of Osaru's house and end the catastrophe that has befallen this land. Pray tell, have I proven myself worthy of the title of Ninja Hero? Oh, mighty Eon of the Hunt. What indomitable ninja spirit she has. Indeed, one as devoted as you rightfully deserves the title of ninja hero. Greetings, dazzling ninja. Also, like this, uh, on her, like, shuriken blade thing. Just like this, in, like, the, the circle thing. And they treat the hologram in the middle. It really reminds me of the Monado. <laughs> it really gives me like Monado vibes, just as like a decker form that can be switched into a like a massive shuriken. <sighs> Ten arduous years of training finally culminated in this. A new title will be conferred upon me today. I can proudly say that I have never gone against the tenets of dazzling ninjutsu all this time. <sighs> How I wish you were here to witness this glory of mine today, Master Kucha. With that, I shall continue my journey to take down the evil ninja. Farewell. Make no haste, since I am now a ninja hero fit to contend with the evil ninja. Would you let me join you in your crusade? No, for your hunt is long complete. This is mine, and mine alone. Low, 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 lone. Uh. Okay. I see. This talent would do well in special effect films. Ah. <laughs> We have quite some fascinating actors today. One perpetually films before a green screen. Another has been through a change of identities 
and <laughs> and you of course the one with the most potential festive superstar from the land of the dreams but does he mean the one who was switched through multiple identities did he mean that I'm hung with that because of like the reincarnation thing of the Vidyadara oh interesting please let me apologize once more yes it is true that i had a working relationship with prof nana but i was coerced into it as a mimetic life form i inadvertently fell into the hands of my enemies and became infected with a lethal mimetic virus i see the spatial ninjutsu that you displayed earlier was truly ingenious. I wouldn't be surprised if you were a memo ninja from the Garden of Zen Collection. <laughs> I'm a memo ninja from the Garden of Zen Collection already now. <laughs> uh... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, am I right to see your act of betrayal at the Dean's office as a ruse to teleport us to safety here? Perhaps I was just trying to bail myself out of the situation. Benar yourself? <laughs> the words you speak. Well, this seems to be the answer for everything. Banat gibberish has long infiltrated every cell and organ of our body. Since Penacone's dreams are rooted in the desires of the masses, the mimetic corruption has had an irreversible impact on the dreamscape itself. Slumber Nana Monkey's sweeping craze wasn't the beginning of things. Rather, it heralded the end. From that point onward, the moment of Slumber Nana was fated to be born. But what differentiates this from other mimetic viruses is the period and extent of its influence. Is that right? I'm impressed. It seems Don Hong is not only a skilled actor, but also has profound knowledge on communication theory. Trends come and go, but every single one of them eventually dies down. Much like how a violent storm quells with time. We may not be able to dampen the increasing popularity of Slumber Nana Monkey, but we can always work to hasten the trend's recession. How do we accomplish this, you ask? We'll have to introduce our lead actor for the night. Yes, it's none other than you, ninja actor. Hmm, the key is in my past, isn't it? Prof. Nana Priman once called you the Doctor's failed creation. I am extremely interested in this. What lies behind your insistence on narrating everything from the intriguing worldview of a ninja? When I made the connection between that and the Banacademics that we've seen earlier, I came to the realization that this might be the very reason you're immune to uh, Slumber Nana Monkey's corruption. I understand now. What Prof. Nana said also hinted at a possibility that links everything else up. She has his own mimetic virus. That this is but another one of Dr. Primitive's experiments. As for you, actor Rappa, you were already infected with another mimetic virus. Mm -hmm. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when used correctly, the venom of a scorpion neutralizes snake venom, just as poison wine may sometimes be used to quench thirst. What you said is right. I once fell into the clutches of Osaru's domain when sorcery ninjutsu was inflicted upon me. I had to undergo endless tribulations to break the fiendish spells only then did I manage to escape. 
That memory has long become a story I leave behind in my past. Though, if Penacani's future hinges on it... Uh, I am willing to bring back that memory and face it once more. Why is he calling it Penacani, though? Or Penacani? Well, well, well. If the memetic entities can overwrite one another, so can memetic viruses. If we can just edit this virus out of our ninja actor's memory, there may be a way to destroy those nasty monkey synesthesia dreamscape. As the third act of a film, this can well be considered as a masterful development to the overall plot. And for the sake of propelling the plot forward, it looks like you'll have to take on a lead role again, actor superstar. Memetic viruses, no matter the type, can be fatal to a memo keeper. But that's not the case for you. As the protagonist, you will surely be able to unveil the truth behind the numerous layers of foreshadowing in this film. <laughs> I like how Steve is subconscious. Take my film reel and turn her memories into the MacGuffin that will shatter this plot once and for all. <laughs> the Benadjiberish in my mind is getting clearer now. I have to move quickly. All right, then. Baseball Bat Ninja, are you ready to dive into my past? Make all necessary preparations, for you may be jolted out of sorts when we encounter the bloody, tearful, and ruthless moments in my memory. <laughs> We're ready to activate, let's go. Pray tell. What does it mean to be a ninja hero? And how does one become a ninja hero? Through talent, lineage, inheritance, or being possessed by the ninja spirit? Nay, none of these. Across the wide expanse of the cosmic ninja realm, those who practice ninjutsu are as prevalent as flying fish row. Yet ninja heroes are as rare as precious golden pufferfish. At this juncture, the legendary scroll of the ninja hero is on the cusp of being unfurled. Do your best to maintain your sanity as you watch dazzling ninja's past unfold before you. Oh, she's really banged in already, Raw. Coming through to inscriptions, past Barry. Part 1, Epiphany via Tribulation. Okay. Patch unlock requested. Insufficient clearance. Please enter password. An enchantment. It won't stop me. This is Rappa's voice. Is this a past version of her? Rain. Pio. So, sha, break. Password input correct. Live specimen gene editing disabled. Opening hatch. That's all there is to Osaru Seal. <laughs> Even while my senses are dulled by sorcery, I can still see the grotesque sins that are unfolding here. How detestable and deplorable indeed. I am now the self that Rappa remembers in her memories. So, this is the ninja capital? It's completely different from what I imagined. Hmm. <sighs> that should be the end of my trial. Are Time you in to space return station? to Master and resume my training. At least they're using the map of the space station. Post crimes committed by Uzaru. Okay. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Mortals are displayed in transparent aquatic prisons like they're nothing but specimens as sorcery inflicts torture on them. 
This is undoubtedly a scene from the Mapo Age of the Dharma. Hmm. I have research record for forest number 17, cultivation forest. From Principal Monkey, Forest Number 17, Cultivation Forest, to Guardian Monkey, Ativa Search Forest. Chairman comes from Department 1. Direction Cultivation of Psychic Subspecies. Progress 100%. Start is successful. First well, extracts abilities to detect psychic waves vanish when their brain volume is reduced to approximately 340 grams. The experiment transplanted to tentacles, tentacles of modern Divaron Benedictian specimen. Onto Simiani psychic subspecies, thus advancing their capacity to harness psychic waves by three evolutionary levels. Future experiments will involve subjecting these specimens to extreme high temperature environments and using growth accelerating drugs and artificial reproduction for accelerated yeah. evolution. Anticipated complete results will be deployed in the combat apes armies and used to block benedictine specimen from volcanic planets in the future. Experiment record from Department 2. Direction cooperating with the Picnic Forest R&D on the recipe for the super rapid evolution truck. Progress 99%. Status in progress. The truck worked as expected. Chimpanzees that consume the truck grew into a form of similar a form similar to Homo sapiens within three hours, gained intelligence equivalent to that of a 40 year old Homo sapiens, and can make primates of lesser intellect conduct with a complicated operations through synesthesia beacons and electric shock collars. Experiments conducted on adult Homo sapiens in which Homo sapiens displayed varying evolutionary responses. Most individuals experienced significant increase in physical fitness, muscular density, and intelligence levels within a short period. Few individuals exhibit serious atavistic reactions on their bodies instead, with the cause remaining unknown. The death probability from continuous dosing exceeding 50 grams stands at 100%, making it impossible to explore the potential of surpassing the known evolutionary limits from extinct species. Extinct? Not extinct? Okay. Currently, we need around 100 benedictine specimen from long lived species for the final test. They have commissioned a collection of forests to send a combat ape squad to block such materials. Experiment records from Department 3 Direction testing the upper limit of intelligence for the Pempelen Centelia Glade. Status 100. A uh, progress 100. Status failed. The experiment aimed to atavistically regress healthy Homo sapiens benedictine specimens into creatures from the Panplan Centelia Glade through con cognition anchors while retaining their memory and intelligence levels. Out of 50 experiments conducted, 32 cases resulted in immediate fatalities, 11 cases failed to retain their memory and intelligence, and 7 cases managed to preserve only a small amount of memory. Without explicit instructions from Dr. Bermative, it is prohibited to pursue experimental directions beyond the pre-made suborder. A tower of a thousand bananas begins with a single banana bud. Experiment records from Department 33. Direction. Third cultivation attempt. Super uh, harmonet. Production program. Progress 15%. Status in progress. Experimental subjects aka3 is in excellent condition exhibiting times 3210 optic nerve reaction speed times 1305 auditory nerve reaction speed times 908 visual acuity and times 21358 auditory acuity times 733 bone strength and times 3596 muscle strength. The current cultivation broken entails daily consumption of 70, 73 genetic drugs produced by the picnic forest, 50 minutes of level 9 imaginary energy electrical stimulations and a level 4 stress ability test not passed. 
The intensity of subsequent experiments will increase every planetary day at the experimental forest location. Uh, location. Research apes are urged to maintain the subject's psychological well-being. Stay cautious, a banana saved is a banana earned. This scroll describes the sorcery and crimes attributed to evil ninja Osaru. Such ruthless and immoral sins. All who read it will undoubtedly tremble before this monstrosity. What's that super hominid that they were researching on now? Vanair! Vanair! Atavistic target, Old World Monkey. Gene regression progress, 7%. Vital signs, stable. This is evil Ninja Osaru's Ninja Scout. It is currently monitoring the victims imprisoned in their cages. Almighty Eon of the Hunt! Evildoers have cast their covetous eyes upon the world. How can you continue to slumber with your eyes closed? Good question. So does it uh, immediately have something to do with the abundance though? Are these making people recurse? <laughs> Salutations, Master Kucha. I have deciphered the enchantment. D what? It's not even two system hours. Master Kucha, do I count as a ninja initiate now? <clears throat> Why, yes. Oh, child. New to the way of the ninja, I recognize your determination. Uh, Henceforth, you shall be the successor. That's why he has been such a weird to my master. dazzling ninjutsu. Thank you, master. This is my greatest honor. Behold the city of shadow, a sinful land of suffering, hatred, and sorrow. Bloody tears soon to devour all hope for the morrow. Soulless evil ninja, Osaru, agent of the vile, cast the masses into sin by foul arts and guile. Fiendlings indulgent in evil gone wild enrage the hearts of all man, woman, and child. Now it also makes more sense why whenever like Masakucha spoke in like her memories he kind of sounded like he was making things up on the spot. He wasn't really confident in what he was saying and was kind of also a bit stuttering about and hesitant in what well, like uh, hesitant in what he was like saying or like cautious in what he was saying. He literally we really had to made everything have to needed to have made everything up on the spot right then and there. <laughs> because he wasn't even like a proper ninja master to begin with. Inherit the legacy of the ninja hero and wipe clean the sins of Osaru. End the suffering wrought upon the ninja capital and bring peace back to its people. I will continue to train hard till the day I become the dazzling ninja that Master speaks of. An admirable resolution uh, to contend with the evil ninja. You will also need a new name, a name befitting a ninja. Name? Is AKA3 a name? I don't know, my disciple. Your your oh. name will carry your ideals, your convictions, and your destiny. Your ninja name belongs to you alone. True, she is the Superhomonet. All right. I would have imagined something more when reading all like these factors by which they increased her senses and everything or like your physical capabilities so the decision is yours to make hmm in 
that case, I choose Rappa. To have a dedicated heart that will never be disturbed. And to pacify all evil and demonstrate justice. That was Master's initial teachings to me. I wish to use them in my name. As you wish. Nice to meet you, Dazzling Initiate A.K.A. Rapper. You will now embark on an arduous training to become a ninja. Can you keep up? That's also smart. The name before was like... A.K.A. Free. And I keep that A.K.A. Rapper. But it's actually not meaning the operation, aka, but it's just like their code name. Interesting detail. Certainly. Pain is but common to a ninja, and I shall never flinch in the face of it. Also, quite smart. Dead. A feeling. No, it is a dazzling feeling under Master Kucha, though not directly. This feeling harbors just as much hatred for evil ninja Osaru. Number three, take medicine. Secret concoctions of concealed evil. It contains an excessive amount of ninja strength. Swallowing it means enduring bone shattering pain. However, to become a ninja hero, I must consume these pills every day. Only then can I create a never ending source of cosmic ninja strength within my body. Yes, this is a trial to temper my mind. And body. Do we take it or do we abuse it? I guess we would just take it. Swallow it. For the sake of the ninja capital. More to ignore an intense pain overwhelms your senses. Skin, muscle, bones, you feel every part of your body being. Uh, is this excruciating pain what Rappa endured back then? You feel every part of your body being eroded, destroyed, and reconstructed. Us! Having persevered through unending nights of tribulations, I will boast the impenetrable body of a ninja hero! Okay. Get the body of Raja. So do we have extra sense to be perception? This okay. is Umbra Headmistress. The head of the dojo and a reliable supportive figure for us dazzling students. She uses the great Narukami circle to awaken the latent potential of ninjas. After attaining enlightenment via reverse lightning ninjutsu, one's body can then possess extraordinary ninja senses. Number three, I'm about to increase the intensity. You better be able to handle it. Future of this laboratory is all in your hands. Yes, that is the plan. The future of the ninja capital shall be shaped by the dazzling ninja hero. I will definitely fulfill my promise. Hmm. Put it on for the sake of becoming a ninja hero. Kalam has powerful electrical currents, like thousands of needles piercing through your flesh and blood. <laughs> this is too much. And countless bombs exploding within your body. Your heart begins to beat at an unusual rate. You hear countless noises, including the death of brothers. Us, having persevered through unending nights of tribulations, I now boast. The vast senses of a ninja hero. Hmm. <laughs> ninja karate. All right. These 
fiendlings are rebel apes of Osaru's clan. They would spar with me every day, improving my ninja skills and refining my ninja martial prowess. <laughs> Number three, stress response training tier four, fighting low-level combat apes. I have never try won against these lost feelings, for I am still but a mere ninja initiate. Yet, if I am to become the dazzling ninja, I must vanquish these feelings. Only then can I be worthy of defeating evil ninja Osaru. To battle! Do not stop until the crows start calling at the crack of dawn. Let the hunt begin for the sake of defeating evil one day. Greetings have approached you. Even though it's just practice, you have to take on uh, on them for true hunting attitude. Okay, let's hunt them down. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> the mood is set. Let the show begin! Still the same one. Starting point of a great hunt! Serious colors first! Some value, I suppose. <laughs> I scared. Stay put. I didn't use a grease. Yeah. Get there. Dreams do come true. Let the show begin! Eternal. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Ah, you're here. Great teamwork. Cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions. The way of the ninja is long and windy, and trials and tribulations are mere amusements. Us, having persevered through unending nights of tribulations, I now boast the unrivaled stature of a ninja hero. Master Kucha, an Umbra headmistress. Use a mimetic virus on number three. How would that help the experiment? I can clearly hear everything they're saying. Is my super hearing capable of picking up even whispers among ninjas now? <laughs> a joyous discovery indeed. Denny 722, we need to increase number three's mental resilience. Enough with these lame excuses. You just can't bear to see her suffer, can you? <sighs> she might not be able to withstand the later experiments. If we use the mimetic virus to perform cognitive intervention and ensure that her mind remains stable, the experiments can proceed more smoothly. Fine. But make sure not to bring your personal feelings into this. 
The research apes aren't exactly happy about how you're allowing number three to run around at will. She's able to decipher the password to the modification cabin in just two system hours. There's no way we'll be able to cage her up like any old gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> Do not be troubled over me, Master. Mere physical suffering can never devastate my ninja spirit. Okay. There you go, Donnie, actually. Oh, I could. But is there anything of interest, though? No. Oh, putting creatures are not here, sadly. Following Master Kutcher's instruction, Rapper ventures into a magical vessel made of ninja tech. Information dilution at 74%. Consciousness anchor locked on. Mimetic etching is about to begin. Ninja initiate Rapper, are you ready? The illusory sorcery that the evil ninja cast upon you is about to be broken. Mimetic etching is about to begin. Let's get out of here, or we'll get affected as well. Hmm. I... I see it now. To think... There's... Such a majestic capital... In the ninja world. Awesome! Looks like it was a success. Since we're on this... Why ninjas? <laughs> Good question. Oh, uh, uh, because of the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions. The what now? In order to protect the helpless weak and save the fallen ninja capital, the righteous ninja hero hunts down the world's evil ninjas. It's a manga series. <laughs> After we sealed off the research institute to hide from the Galaxy Rangers, my manga collection has been her only source of entertainment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't expect the reason for that being quite that simple, but fair enough. Fair enough. Hmm, now I know why number three always looks so loopy. You better be careful not to go overboard with giving her such useless information. There's only one horizontal axis on Eriodition's coordinate system. Everything else is an impediment to progress. That's especially true for the banal concepts of good and evil. Haven't the Galaxy Rangers given us enough trouble already? You'll never get the doctor to notice you if you keep being so narrow-minded. Is that so? Would Doctor really notice ordinary mortals like us? Hmm. Part 2, Rangwisher and Dessa. You're transferring number 3 to Denise 722? Why? Simple. You won't be able to graduate. According to Denisovan 22's reports, you have been guiding the experiment in the wrong direction. No. Let me ask her what she means by this. It's an honor for me to represent Laboratory 17 and elaborate on our beliefs to all who are present today. Wise attendees. As you can clearly see, our universe today is nothing but a crate of abandoned bananas. In order to save the world's marching towards rot and decay, humanity must regress, regress, and regress further. 
Only then will civilization be imbued with endless possibilities yet again, allowing erudition to shine with kaleidoscopic rays once more. Hmm. Do not be concerned by the accusations and criticisms of others, for a grand cause must always use the dreams of the common masses as kindling. Yet, it is blissful for them to become kindling, for rotten wood only contributes the greatest value when it is set ablaze. Okay. People should make use of their talents to the fullest, just as items should be utilized fully. We must ensure that every monkey in the experiment fully comprehends this bliss. Let us burn alongside them in happiness. Denise of N22, what is all this? I've graduated. Now you need to call me Ape 22. As for what this is, that specimen is the new human that our laboratory painstakingly bred with genes filtered from the atavistic experiments, but you made her a lunatic. The research apes have decided that I will take over her nurturing from here on out. Who's in charge isn't important, but you can't continue the experiment anymore, so break! That's fine. I'm already nurturing number four. If something happens to three, we'll replace her with that new one. And who is number four? How could you? We brought her up since she was a baby. Do you not have a shred of morality? <laughs> morality? Are you really talking to me about morality? On Bacchus too, morality is how every family's second son must be sacrificed to Nanook. On the interstellar principality of Pegasus, morality is how bipedal organisms must be enslaved by quadrupedal ones. On the Capicala planet, morality is how blue-eyed individuals are forbidden from walking on the streets. Um, okay. I really wouldn't like want to live on any of these planets then. Morality has bound the wisdom of those people and ended the future of those worlds. That was why Dr. Primitive chose them as targets of the atavistic experiment. The sacrifices we made are not for such vulgar things. Rather, they're meant to create a future where humans can be happy, where the universe can continue to advance, and one that the doctor can be proud of. <sighs> Crisis approaches the blindfolded eyes and the obstructed true. Okay. Umbra Headmistress, you're destroying the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions. Why? Cognition isolation is the first step to curing one of a mimetic virus. You were supposed to have the intelligence of a genius, but such garbage ruined it. Rip them. Tear them to shreds yourself. This. This is the dearest treasure of the Dazzling Ninja School. We cannot do that. Odd. I've always thought of you as obedient. You always did everything Denise of N75 said. Why aren't you obeying me? Ah! Muscle fiber sure are densely packed. It's like slapping a rock. <laughs> the poem? Why? Used on me? Hurry and tear up this trash! As long as you perform well, both Denise of N75 and I will be praised. You don't wish to disappoint him, do you? Master Kucha? I understand. This must be Master Kucha's trial for me. He's testing my ninja skills of letting go. Just as Hasbury is late, that doesn't make it any better. <laughs> Umbra had Mistress and Master Kucha. What are they talking about? Tiny 722, you cannot get rid of her. Number three is also a failed experimental subject. 
She barged into the storage room without permission, created a huge mess, and was rude to the research apes. Just that alone is enough to make her a failure. But you know that was just an accident. I'm a research ape, not a banana advisor. You're the one who made her into this damn state she's in. The laboratory should hold you accountable for the way she turned out. <sighs> damn it. Master Kucha, have I done something wrong? No, Rappa. You have done extremely well. A true ninja hero must wholeheartedly devote oneself uh, to the way of the ninja. You foiled the evil ninja schemes and saved so many innocent people. You undoubtedly already have the bearing of a true ninja. Am I really a true ninja now? Of course. Now, ninja initiate Rappa. <sighs> yes, Master. You've trained under me for five years. After rigorous tests and trials, you've mastered hundreds of ninja techniques. I hereby bestow upon you the title of Dazzling Ninja, entrusting you to be my weapon, to defeat the evil ninja, and guide the ninja capital into the future. Thank you, Master Kucha. This is my greatest honor. Take the scroll with you, for within its pages lie the secrets of Dazzling Ninjutsu. It shall cast a brilliance that makes fiendlings fear and destroy the evil ninja's intricate matrices. Paint it throughout the ninja capital. Banish the shadows with ink and raise the banner against evil. What should I paint? I do not know, my disciple. You may paint anything that you wish. This is your own ninjutsu. So, the decision is yours to make. Yes. Oh, yeah. He's actually telling us to break free. I like this to break is off. where the Matrix Core is. According to Master, Dazzling Ninjutsu can overwrite the evil ninja's matrix. Channel the mantra into the colorful brilliance, then paint it over the existing mantra on the Matrix Core. What wondrous ninja tech. Dazzling Ninja Seal, open! Success! <laughs> this way, the evil ninja's matrix can finally be broken. Denise of N75, what is going on? There's digital graffiti all over the laboratory. It even crashed the security system. <laughs> I nice. have no idea. Uh, someone must have hacked in. I'll check on it right away. I like it all well, the digital. Quick about it. If we don't fix it soon, the rangers are going to find us. Oh, is this how she is meeting Buddha, maybe? Master Kucha, I have placed the dazzling ninja seal all over the ninja capital. Oh, good work, dazzling ninja. This way the evil ninja's matrix will no longer be able to stop our communication ninjutsu. Make haste, strangers. Bring this ridiculous farce to an end. Stop! Oh. What are you doing, Denise of N75? Uh, Denny 722. Uh. How dare you deceive the experimental subject, your fellow research partners, and the research apes? The biggest mistake Laboratory 17 ever made was to allow a research fraud such as you to infiltrate this place. What is 
Umbra had mistress oh, talking Apollo. about. <laughs> Larry James. Rapper. Thank you very much. She is a follower of the evil ninja. <laughs> what? Umbra had mistress is a traitorous ninja? Enough! Combat apes, take care of them. Oh, they will go down. Dazzling ninja. There's been a change to your trial. I now ask you to uh, vanquish those traitors. Uh, uh, great. Uh, understood. I shall demonstrate to master the dazzling ninjutsu I just learned. be swept away by the wind. Great teamwork. Okay, that's not so fine actually, so I'm gonna... Eternal. I'm gonna hold everyone back again! Protect, protect me! Take your positions. <sighs> the mood is set. Let the show begin! were personally trained by the research apes. <sighs> My long hours of training have finally paid off. This is dazzling, Palm. Look, this is what they call the failed subject. We conducted this experiment together. We were the ones who shaped her into this. Someone with unparalleled intelligence, extraordinary perception, and incredible power. Tell me, in what sense of the word is she considered a failure? You, you? How dare you question the doctor's theory? The research apes must have their own considerations. The security system will be repaired soon. Prepare to feel the full force of Dr. Primitive's wrath, you oblivious kindling! You're wrong. <laughs> Dr. Primitive wouldn't care about ordinary people like us. Everything is right up. This trial is over. You should go. But Master Kucha. Leave, Rappa. <sighs> yes. You're secretly concealing weapons as well? What are you planning? Denise and 22. Thanks to you, I finally understood. That morality is indeed a hypocritical and superficial concept. That's why I've decided to ditch it for good. Wait, wait, my friend. Please, please put the gun down. 
We've been classmates for so many years now, you can't... Umbra, headmistress. It's time you breathe your last. This hmm. is karma. Warning. Unauthorized personnel detected in corridor C-11. Security apes to activate security measures at once. <sighs> the evil ninja is about to set a matrix here. Using the ninja tech left to me by Master, I shall pave the way for those ninja heroes that are soon to arrive. Warning. Corridor C-11's security system appears to have All right, then. Warning. Corridor C-11's security system has large... Warning. Corridor C-11's security system is no longer functioning. Corridor C-11... How the air outside the ninja capital actually smells like. Okay. Hey, little miss, are you alright? Pleasure to meet you. Who might you be? Galaxy Ranger, I received a distress signal. This place really is the territory of Dr. Primitive's henchmen. It's as hard to find as those bananas hidden in the woods. Ninja hero? Huh. It seems my trial has finally come to an end. Ah. Trial? What kind of? Ugh, another poor kid driven mad by those monkeys. The final trial of the Mako H. Destroy the Matrix of Osaru's house. And end the catastrophe. Pray tell, have I proven myself worthy of the title of Ninja Hero? No way! So that's why all those in the lab are lying dead on the ground? Was it all your doing? Ten years of suffering. One day of recognition. I have not let down dazzling ninjutsu. Master Kucha, I really wish you could witness this. Hmm. Get it now. This girl's infected with a memetic virus. Most people would have turned into complete by now, but she's still running around like nothing's wrong. Please listen to me. You're in serious danger right now. If you don't get treated soon, your brain will eventually Wait. burst. Since I am now a ninja hero who can contend with evil ninjas, might I lend you a hand? You're asking me this now. Do you have a death wish? You want to go on the hunt? Know that this is a road of no return. <laughs> above. Eradicating evil to my last breath. My bow drawn. No turning back. My heart shall remain unmoved. Whoever follows the way of the ninja is a ninja. I I've made my decision. Tell me if this good from past where we is the end. I'm gonna lie, a really cool backstory for her. Hands, cats, fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Actor superstar, you'll surely become a director as great as me in the future. As a member keeper, you probably also saw a lot of that and recorded that. These memories are enough to create a sensational hit that will destroy ambiguity and bring a close to this absurd monkey show. But before that, the prelude prepared for the climax is already elsewhere. Well, I kind of really like that backstory to her. It gives her character a lot more depth. Become a chef soon, you say, and I'm reading the story of another group of actors. Don't worry. Everything's fine now. Oh, wow. That's a little fudge and fantastic news. As if I haven't already told you that the last few times. <laughs> well, there's no need for my head to be checked, let alone a consultation. I mean, we needed an excuse.
excuse for your behavior anyway. Surely insanity counts. <laughs> what are you even saying? All hope is not lost yet. It looks like Dreamflux Reef is the enemy's real target. Everything that the both of you saw and heard at the Slumber Nana Association is evidence enough. Thankfully, you managed to intervene in time and put a stop to their schemes for now. But now even so, the current situation is still rather grim. Apologies, but I only bring bad news. And good news, too? I wish, but no, nothing of the sort. Uh, oh well. At least you didn't say worse news. <laughs> the conversion is still in progress. The number of monkeys in Dreamflux Reef is still increasing, and I'm certain they used to be residents of the place. I sense the same. There is still a discordant static on Dreamflux Reef. Call it bewitchment or persuasion. The fact remains that such dissonance has indeed wrenched open the emptiness in people's hearts. I went to a few trustworthy bloodhounds for help, asking them to eliminate any assistant nanas that they come across. Looks like that's not helping the current situation. Mr. Micah, you know Dreamflux Reef the best among us. Do you have any suggestions? We're in a race against time, so... I'll dispense with the formalities. In Dreamflux Reef, there are still assistant Annas working in secret, searching all over the place for residents who haven't been turned into monkeys, and pushing them into that abyss. If the both of you are willing to aid us, it'll buy us more time. As for Miss Robin, you may just be the key to resolving this crisis. Oh. But if we were to ask for your help, we have to be prepared for the worst case scenario, where the boundary between Dreamflux Reef and the family will no longer exist. I will need your promise regarding the future of this place. I understand. In that case, please go ahead with your plans first, Mr. Boothill and Miss March 7th. Before you wrap up your business, we will have made our decision too. Okay. This turns out to be a bit more political for them, but all right. I could say, not quite political, but for like, oh no, yeah, for Pentaconis. In the context of Pentaconi, yeah. Let's put a bullet in their hurts. Enjoying yourself? Let's do it. There's no reason those with the most gun and those who dig the little grave. There's more to life. The mood is set. Let the show begin! swept away by the wind. <laughs> Don't worry, this one's on me. on me there's no reason with you those with the low gun those who dig the little grave Funk. I can do this get them take your positions 
Let's duel. Time's up. been converted see those things are not but Hannah runs off on her arm before Mr. master and even finished speaking uh, hey I'm not done yet uh, we can't leave her alone I'll meet up with you later this isn't me running away from a fight okay <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have thought that until you said it. <laughs> Fair enough. There are lots of other monkeys about. Being able to see an actor who isn't a monkey fills me with such joy. This scene would be overly monotonous otherwise. <laughs> Though well, I too coming? find this way of making my entrance rather excessively deliberate, we're not blessed with the luxury of time. What's a little blatant engineering in the opening sequence? Won't you agree? Who are you? R Robin's people? No. No, you're a memo keeper. Keep? intuition but that layer of my identity isn't important i am only here because of my fastidiousness toward the theatrical arts okay what in fork in hell are you trying to say yeah i was planning to tell you to stay away from this place but you're being so annoyingly pretentious that you're better off turning into a monkey at least you'd be less noisy, man. But this also explains why uh, Mr. Rekker is also always like talking in like creator, creator and film linguistics. Um, if he also has like a memetic virus on him, Zen Rubber being all about ninjas. Just the thing I'm like also like noticing now. You may think that I popped up out of nowhere, and yes, you can attribute that to a <coughs> lack of foreshadowing. I wouldn't have approved <laughs> such a sloppy sequence in usual cases. I love how the cave is such Yet, for the sake of this film, I am willing to forego some of my standards to offer some tiny clues to you and the other ranger. Oh, rapper sent you. <laughs> no wonder you're talking in that same convoluted manner. At present, there is an obvious way to save Dream Flux Reef. As long as the family steps into the picture, resolving the mutation that's occurred here would be a piece of cake. However, this is not a solution that the masses may be willing to accept. You think too little of the people here. They gave up on those sweet dreams out there just so they can be true to themselves. You reckon such people would grovel at the feet of the family over a mere crisis? Yes, Mr. Micah thinks the same. But that perseverance of theirs isn't going to save Dream Flux Reef. I don't wish for this film to develop into a tragedy either. If the residents of Dream Flux Reef hope to tide over the crisis without the family's help, they will have to sing their very own song of harmony. This is why I'm here. Uh. I have prepared a big gift for all of you. The outline for the next act. You'll see once you open it. And okay. why should I believe you? I am the director of this film as much as I am an actor in it. When it comes to the last scene that I will appear in, there's no reason for me not to seek perfection. Fair enough. So what is he doing to help us here? <laughs> I knew it. There's no way the little fudge head will come right out and say what he actually means. Let's just see what you're up to then. 
Opening it, he has many speculations. As I believe that no matter what he sees, he can maintain his usual contempt above the other for his trickery. But right after doing that, This is... Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Darn right he is. That motherfucker does know what he's talking about. <laughs> well, nothing else can beat this. People of Dream Flux Reef have to come together to sing their song of harmony. Oh, time to go back to that singing queen. <laughs> Forking hell. Oh, this place totally ain't shabby enough to ask the family for help. What is inside of it? Now I am really curious. What the hell is inside of that thing? <laughs> Understand. I'll try my best, Mr. Micah. All right, there. Hold your horses. What do y'all have so far? Oh, it's you, Mr. Boothill. How are things outside? The same old sorry side. Not that I miss it. <sighs> have we really come to this? What do you mean, partner? Am I going to have to start learning how to greet the family now? <sighs> On the contrary, that's something that will never happen in Dreamflux Reef. At the end of the day, I'm just Dreamflux Reef's night watch, not its leader. I'm loath to interfere with people's right to choose. Choose? Uh, don't tell me you believe they chose to become monkeys. <laughs> that's exactly my point. These are people who seek their true selves. I don't believe they would seek happiness by erasing their individuality. But I won't stop them from heading towards destruction, as long as they made the decision with a clear head. <laughs> That's my boy. If there are people who aspire to become monkeys, I won't deny them of that dream. But I hope Miss Returning Robin would at monkey. least give them that right to choose once again. There is, indeed, a way to resolve the impending crisis without drawing the family's eyes to Dreamflux Reef. We know the tuning of harmony can erase the static noise. If the people of Dreamflux Reef are willing to follow my lead in singing a charmonic tune together, we may be able to erase the heinous noises reverberating around Dreamflux Reef. But knowing how a number of residents here view the family, it won't be easy for the plan to work. I think I know who's who or what is in that box. I think it's just rapper inside. And rapper will sing her rap song. More importantly, if the family's tunes become the only song left on Dreamflux Reef, we would have survived the crisis. But Penacone's only land of freedom would also cease to exist. Just have every sound and voice come together in a single song. Listen, I, I have a fudging brilliant idea. Come with me, singing queen. Whether it works or not, depends on how much of a deviant you are. Okay. Ready for it? Now, this is the only way to get everyone in Dreamflux Reef to sing together. <laughs> this. Uh... Need I say any more? Oh, well, don't tell me you've been so used to your classy posh instruments that this thing is beneath you. <laughs> no, that's not it. 
I know a thing or two regarding everything related to tunes. But this really is absurd. <sighs> Perhaps an absurd crisis calls for an equally absurd solution. That's the way. I'll leave the rest to me. I'll make sure to get everyone we need. Was it just like a, a mixer poll for like teachers? Dance. Some people defeated their enemies by crying. It's finally our turn now. Got a crisis? Throw a party! Yeah! Okay, it's, I think it's also just maybe just a DJ mixing port. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, stop bobbing rainbows. Thank you very much. Snap out of it, cow pokes. There's a big party going on over there, and it's lit as fudge. Why don't you go uh, check it out? Micah already told us about it. Chiming in on the family's harmonic tunes. Huh. You best get the hell out of my face. <laughs> Isn't that one of my lines? But sure, if you prefer it this way. I know I'm being a little demanding here. Get your hind parts over to that party right now and save your home, or I'll make sure to dedicate an elegy for every one of you. You! <laughs> you, 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 you never seen a thug before? I'm not Micah. Want to try me and my gun? Oh, what's going on? Are fellow humans more dangerous than those monkeys now? Yep. Always have been. We'll go to the party. Just keep that gun of yours away. Okay, Micah's already talking to them. I'm guessing the ones bothering up there are the others I got to talk to. Howdy, partner. Oh, what's wrong, pals? Oh, that's one distressed look you have there. Haven't been swigging enough, eh? Shut up, cowboy. Enough snide remarks. Come over and help us out. Oh, well, that's exactly what I'm here for. Here. Head over to this place and just wait for it. <laughs> I called it, didn't I? Who needs all that brain when swigging around on the dance floor solves things just the same? A cowboy? Oh, right. The same guy as the other time. Could Miss Robin be? Come with me, everyone! I think he might just be making some sense. <laughs> Monella, why are you... Never mind. What's one more loony to the count? Let's go see what's going on then. <laughs> and let's shoot it together. All right. My, my, my. Look who's here. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been looking for you all day. <laughs> I kind of get a reaction from looking at her. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Should I believe that or not? Oh, all right then. I'll just take half the credit for those assistant Annas we took out earlier. Yeah, that's also just half of the whole lot. Huh? Oh, so that's why nothing's going back to normal. Uh, come on, we need to hurry. No need for that. We've got a new plan now. How did it go with her? Convinced? Uh, I'll help out wherever possible. Jeepers. How'd you get through to her? Master Assistant Nana the Pope? <laughs> March explained everything to me. I wasn't really influenced by the Assistant Annas. It was something else. Anyway, it's not your fault. Those bananas are incorrigible. Preaching about how having nothing is best. More like they wouldn't be able to control a single human if none of us thought that way. Say whatever true. they like. Quite true. They're nothing but smashed fudges once I put my bullets into them. Uh, everything ironed out between you two now. Hm. Follow me then. Oh, wow. Everyone's here. 
here. Well, we were kind of missing wrapper and such. Also, why is it still like red? <laughs> what was it you said? Who in their right mind would sing in a choir in this era? Not when you tell them there's a party. That's when people come flocking. What? A party? You're back, Mr. Boothill. We wouldn't have this turnout if it wasn't for Mr. Micah. Most of them are unwilling to trust me, much less the power of Charmony. But they chose to put their faith in Mr. Micah. I think it's less about believing me than them not wanting to give up on this place. Everyone's got something they want to prove. It's the first time Dreamflex Reef has ever had a way to overcome difficulties on our own, without relying on the family. So, what exactly are you gonna do? For a party. You're likely to find it... a little... unbelievable. <laughs> I still can't wrap my head around how I actually agreed to this. I must be crazy. What's so scary about that? I have to do something crazy every once in a while. That keeps me from really going nuts. <laughs> Run up. Right. Let's get the party going. But once the hype is at its peak, I'm gonna treat everyone to a drink. <laughs> I'm starting to like you guys now. Well, thank you in advance, Mr. Boothill. But I'd like to remind you on behalf of Jesse that your seven cups from before haven't been paid yet. <laughs> but I'm willing to take care of that bill, of course. I've hosted several acting gigs in the past. But this is the most unusual of the lot. Will it really work? Oh, don't overthink it, singing queen. <sighs> Let me tell you something funny. I'm sure you could tell I've been through some uh, modifications on my body. When I just started out as a cyborg, my memory module fizzled out every so often, and I didn't even mess with it. The doctor told me to note things down if they were ever important, and, and she'd look up some possible causes before coming to fix me up a few days later. And guess what? I muddle fudge and noted things down for several days straight, and that's when it hit me. I was remembering too much crap. <laughs> That's why my memory module just kept shutting down on me. Okay. Is there a reason you're telling us this? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah, and it's simple. I'm telling you that it's not yourself that you have to trust, but them. Everyone here has a perfectly functional memory module. They didn't develop such robust brains to forget everything and become monkeys. So, you in? Yes. Let's get this party started. <laughs> what was it again? Uh, an absurd solution to an absurd crisis? <laughs> I, I won't call it that. It's only right for Dream Flux Reef's song to be untamed and free. Go get the party started, singing queen. And... No, no. I should call you, uh, DJ Queen instead. Let's go, nameless gal. You can go grab a seat by yourself. Yep. Anyway, it. <laughs> it's our tables and everything. But shouldn't Reva be doing it? Beautiful. Excellent. Music can really bring a film to life. Holy forkeroni. Weren't you riding off your character? <laughs> I am. That's why I am watching this scene as a director instead of an actor. I can't wait to hear for myself how this song of harmony is going to turn out. Sometimes I get hit by sudden hunches that a great film is in the making. More often than not, these tend to be just scenes from different groups of people that are then edited together. Most of the characters in this film aren't what you would call protagonists. 
You don't really get to see full character arcs on them, but they still have a light in their hearts that can save humanity's soul. Aww. What do these people really need when they have lost everything? Guidance of the wise or aid from the strong? I'd say neither. All they need is a camera to capture them. That's when others would be able to see the most wonderful show in the entire universe. Uh, don't make things sound so complicated, Director Pal. If you were to ask me... Fork it. That's exactly what life is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the prelude. Can you hear it? Those lesser thirds so plaintive, sixth diminished, sigh on sigh. Told them something. Those suspensions, those solutions, must we die? Those commiserating sevenths, life might last. We can but try. So, Miss Robin, is there anything else I can do? I'm all right now. You don't have to accompany me any further. The butterflies that I felt from before are all gone now. Is that because you're starting to get into the mood for the party early? <laughs> no, that's not it. I just realized something I've never noticed before. Oh? Everyone expected my life to change after going through something huge like that. But that's not the case. I still haven't found a better answer regarding birds in flight. Oh, nice callback to Even the when something story. comes to my mind, I still need a lot of time to deliberate on it and try various ways to prove it. I believe my brother must be doing the same right now. Are you going to change yourself from today? Not exactly. It's just, when I think about what's going to happen next, it dawns upon me that hymns tend to require a devoted heart and demand the choir to sing in unison. But on the dance floor, there's no need to conform or impose a certain standard for everyone to follow. Even if everyone is different, they will still appear the same. Perhaps Harmony was never about its audience, but about the light it provides. Much like how we see it now. There are more choices for the people than singing in unison. Even if they were to contribute their own differing sounds, these can be strung together. That's what it means to tune. I believe our Song of Harmony will be able to embrace even discordant sounds. I will bring forth Dream Fox Reef's very own sound. Go ahead, girl. It's a remix of her own song, though. <laughs> Finally, all preparations leading up to the climax are in place. Let us welcome, with bated breath, the beatific final act! And it will be our entrance, I will assume. Are you not done with your ninja tech yet? Patience. As stated in the cosmic ninjutsu inscriptions, hasty knitting produces poor fabric, as raging fires fail to cook meat through. That's right. Mm. 
Ha! Done! The Cosmic Ninjutsu is ever-changing. So I present to you the Super Ninja Scroll. I have added the memory from earlier into this. If Ninja Gama does not lie, this will become the blade to slay those fiendlings. As long as we insert memories containing the ninja mimetic virus into the Synesthesia dreamscape, it will overwrite the existence of Slumber Nana Monkey in the dream. Ninja Hiryu, Ninja Galactic Baseballer, I'm counting on the two of you to aid me in ending the Feedling Chief reverse dream. And we do that. How exactly? Knowing a camera, had it not been made by a member keeper, it would be hard to imagine that this thing could send you to another dreamscape. Huh. You peer through the viewfinder and spot what seems like the eye of an amphibian staring back at you. A familiar voice pops in your ear. Actors, are you ready ah. for the final act? The mechanical frog. Charge with me, ninjas! Let the hunt begin! Alright then. Cosmic Ninja inscriptions to find a chapter up to dream fall. Up to an island full of banana. A lovely nest for slumber nana. <sighs> Why that banana jibber is long again? Very uh, banana jibberish rings out and the monkeys in your mind start making noise. Dazzling ninjutsu! Brilliant enlightenment! <sighs> the banana gibberish sounds from before have stopped. I shattered the fiend's deception with my ninja talismans. Has everyone snapped out of their trance? It looks like Mr. Rekka did tell the truth. Your memory worked in overriding the slumber nana monkey's influences. Our speech seems to have gone back to normal too. Is this Yay. the moment of Slumber Nana? This place is crawling with Slumber Nana monkeys. I'm guessing they're the ripe bananas from Paperfold University and Dreamflux Reef. That is true. This is undoubtedly the illusory realm Ninja Galactic Baseballer and I had once visited. There were not as many fiendlings around back then. Looks like more and more people are being afflicted by the sorcery. Fiendling Chief. You're behind all of this, aren't you? But nah. What a waste. If it wasn't for so many variables disrupting the plan, this place would have been even more bustling. Hm. You know it's even more of a waste? Your experiment's on its way to failure. Let me make a guess. You want to destroy this place with a virus in her head. But look at all these monkeys. Do you really think that dated manga can replace the most fervent trend in the dreamscape? I would come back at. Of course that wouldn't work. Neither do I have any intentions of pushing ninja initiates to adopt the way of the dazzling ninja. All we need to do is bring those disillusioned fans back to their senses to quell the rogue waves of feelings. There's no need to replace the slumber nana monkeys with ninjas. We just have to snap them back to their senses. That alone is enough to undermine the influence of the mimetic virus. And when people no longer blindly follow Slumber Nana Monkey, we will be able to easily destroy this dreamscape. That's a word. Hmm. Looks like that memo keeper gave you guys some banana tips that good students shouldn't know about. In that case... I can only issue the final exam to you. Bring it on! I'm ready for your challenge! Okay. Oh, laying down your challenge only to abscond? Ah, despicable! I can't tell what's up his sleeve, but we should take care of these slumber nana monkeys as soon as possible. Stopping the mimetic virus is still our priority for now. Let's go. Ninja Hiryu is right. 
Since I have already relinquished the Super Ninja Scroll, I rely on my fists to awaken these ninja initiates that succumb to the way of the Fiendling. Why are Simon and back on? In the moment of Samanana using Rapper's technique, will cause her to go into the graffiti state that continues to sprint the wakes of Samanana Magi with whom she collides. Or uh, collided. To the collide with more Samanana Magis, the more Samanana Magis she wakes up the crater the buff in the final battle with Profanum Grimon. There are too many monkeys. It's best that we try to eliminate them. My ninja arts will only send the feedlings out of this place. Free to use my ninja fist! Where are the others? Are the others further ahead? Okay. Fashionable trends are what drive people. In the sweet dreams of harmony, this is equivalent to strife. Chief left to top this ninja tech bullet. Let us quickly give chase. All right, then. Oh, it's already set up. Yeah, okay. Stop trying to escape. If you believe you can defeat us, why not settle it once and for all? Right now. Fun. Nah, it's not time for clash yet. There's no need to be in such a hurry. Look how I like the music. That's right. Life in Penaconi is not as ideal as what is seen on the surface. If someone is standing on the edge of a cliff. Even a gentle breeze can easily tip them over. We have to stop this breeze from growing, even if the ninja. How many of the experimental subjects' wishes have been collected inside the core so far? A thousand? Ten thousand? We should fully utilize what we have. These results will pave the way and eliminate any obstacles in our future experiments. Oh, bye -bye. This is also already set up. I might even do that if we can. Hurry up and give chase. Come on, the classroom is just ahead. The slumber animal seems to be declining. The virus must have also been weakened somewhat. Stop wasting your time on useless questions. It's almost time to hand in your papers. Hmm. Hold on. It seems to be intentionally guiding us toward them. There's no need for hesitation, Ninja Hiryu. If there's an ambush, we foil the ambush. If there's a scheme, we thwart the scheme. Is is it done? The Mizani though? Maybe, maybe not. I just wanna double check. This is where I came from, actually. Ninja run away fast technique. I'm guessing there's more of it. It 
save for the feelings to be here. But nah. The experimental results have been so badly damaged. You're such a bunch of unruly students. <laughs> Feed me, cheap. There's nowhere left to run. It's time to face your punishment delivered by my dazzling ninjutsu. <sighs> AKA3. Carrying high quality primate genes selected from 32 civilizations for the atavistic experiment went astray due to a trainee research ape's erroneous cultivation. Moreover, that trainee research ape showed no remorse and even colluded with the galaxy rangers, resulting in a devastating loss for the laboratory. In the end, we're only left with an abysmal piece of failure. You're a fiendling who only knows how to take orders from the evil ninja and go around causing trouble. What right do you have to judge me? Mm-hmm. Of course. It's because of my dreams. Let us continue from where the previous lecture left off. Bananas are plants that propagate asexually. Each rhizome can bear several buds that will grow into a sea of banana trees thus eliminating hunger problems, plaguing planets, and perhaps even the entire universe. As for the selfish plants that place emphasis on personality and individuality, they will willfully spread their seeds and grow uncultivated. They only care about whether their genes are passed on, but do not know to contribute to the cause of their kind. Tell me, on a cosmic scale, which should be eliminated, and which should be left to thrive? Enough! Just I knew it was When school started, you encouraged everyone to pursue their desires freely. But now you ridicule what it means to be free. Previously, you judged bananas to be a failed plant. But now you are singing praises of their selflessness. This... The context is different. You can't generalize it in this manner. When evil people do evil things, they always have a myriad of excuses to try and justify their own actions. You're self-contradictory and unreasonable, only striving to further your own agenda. There's no need to listen to such lessons. Feedling chief, rather than continuing to weave lies, why don't you think about your last words? Failures. A bunch of failures that cannot be cultivated. How can failures possibly comprehend the erudition of a genius? However, I can always rely on primitive methods to beneducate you on this theory. See this beautiful dream bubble? The family relied on the harmonious wishes of thousands of family members. And the power of the Stellaron to construct Penacony. I simply gathered and converged the abandoned wishes of thousands of monkeys into this dream bubble to create the moment of slumber nana. Now, I will hand over its power to all banana advisors and assist the nanas. Okay. Banana, banana, banana. It's time for the final, the Sanana. The name of this class is Dreaming. All right. Let's get rid of these city girls. You bunch of unruly students are seriously violent. Thank you for the boost. Secret technique, dazzling obliteration. Starting point of a great hunt. There's more to life. Existence is unity. 
Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. I'm gonna hold everyone back again! Get them! Stay in step. Let's improvise. The mood is set. Let the show begin! I suppose. Thank so you. this is the warmth of life. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. Let's improvise. Oh no, come on. <laughs> There's more to life. Eternal. Fiends or devils, I'll crush them all! Pick on someone your own son! Annoying. Then let's fuck with him. Gilbert Knights when it comes to you. With you here. Be gone. Ultimate brilliant enlightenment. My mood is. I suppose existence is unity. Be of your body. Not the truth. Everything in this world is bleeding. Dreams do come true. Why does this one go so much quicker? A failed Bessanana. Unattainable dreams are just like the highest hang. Ow! Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> of course. It ends on the same joke. What is this place? Wasn't I just in class? Where have the bananas and forests gone? Him, Don Hung, and Miss Rappa? Yo, Ninja Ruri. Yo, Silver Gun Shira. Forking hell. They're making more of a scene than we are. How can it be? How could such mighty aspirations be brought down by a bunch of failed kindling? <laughs> Feedling chief, stop insulting others with your filthy language. The way of the ninja does not discriminate between classes. One who seeks the way of the ninja is a ninja initiate. One who upholds the way of the ninja is a ninja. And one who lives by the way of the ninja is a ninja hero. I don't understand, Mana. <laughs> Good. Me neither. Wait, no more nonsense. There's no point in continuing the conversation with the monkey brought up by Dr. Primitive. Hmm. Have you decided on what to do with this guy? Hmm. Torture is definitely on the menu. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whip him with a belt soaked in salt water and serve him everything that the IPC wants used on me. Oh? The Fiendling Chief is guilty of multiple sins and deserves punishment. However, repentance is not what we seek. Instead, make, make him tell us where Evil Ninja Osaru is. is. Hey, you enjoy playing dead? Let's see if you can still play dead in the face of a banana covered with thorns. Is it all right, cowboy actor? You don't have to continue acting with that puppet. <laughs> a puppet? You little fudgehead. Even your toad looks more like a puppet than he does. <laughs> oh, you've hurt the feelings of the assistant director. You really should work on changing your crude way of delivering lines. Go ahead if you really want to torture a prop. But a certain gorilla who has just awakened at the border of Azdana is probably about to depart. Silver Gunshira, even with my super hearing, I'm no longer able to detect the sounds of the feedling. <sighs> Perhaps Ninja Gama is right. Hell, that muddle fudger still got away even after all our effort. That sucks. <sighs> Forget it. Gail, why are you so calm? You're always talking about how much you hate that scum. Why are you so unconcerned right now? This night is long. The hatred of a ninja hero should be born solely by themselves. Since Pinacani has finally ushered in a period of peace and prosperity, then let the mortal beings of this land of dreams embrace the sun once more. The hatred in one's heart might dissipate one day, but the way of the ninja within their hearts will never be forgotten. Ever. The body continues. Rappa, have you found your own way of the ninja? Of course. Becoming the Dazzling Ninja is my way of the ninja. No. That cannot be considered the way of the ninja. The, the, the way of the ninja is something a ninja lives by for the rest of their life. Then, defeating the evil ninja? You'll eventually defeat evil ninja Osaru. One day. Then what happens next? Is your reason for becoming the dazzling ninja solely for defeating your enemies? Hmm. But he's not the only evil ninja in this realm, right? Of course. 
In the cosmic ninja I just want to realm, say it's not voice. Evil doers are as abundant as the glittering stars. The gods have no spare attention to protect the mortals and the powerful ninja masters with extraordinary ninjutsu powers constantly fighting against one another. That is the Mapo Age of the Dharma. Then my way of the ninja shall be... Eradicating evil to my last breath. My bow drawn, no turning back. My heart shall remain unmoved until evil has been purged and justice enacted. To the end of the Mapo Age. Got an intro to inscription, it's the end. Director Mr. Rekka. <laughs> <laughs> of course. We need actors for AKA free, rapper, research able free. Oh! True, banana driver. <laughs> oh, come on. Mazakucha is versus credit is dead. Singer, after the storm dies down, Paper Forty Mrs. starts reorganize so we organize the school anniversary festival. Aww, you guys actually experienced something so exciting. Seriously, bring me along on such adventures next time. <laughs> <laughs> it was clearly you who went off on your own. Ugh, forget it. Anyway, I was also able to showcase my capabilities while you guys weren't present. I definitely played a big part in your being able to resolve the situation so successfully. Samrod, I guess? You're too kind, Ninja Galactic Baseballer. <laughs> the academic conference has concluded. And the actual acting dean and teachers are back. The university did not escalate matters. Perhaps it's because Mr. Rucker extracted a portion of the people's memories. Oh, Probably. How scary. But could he have taken our memories as well? I don't want to lose any more memories. Fair enough. Uh, however. It's all thanks to him that the Dreamlight Anniversary is going ahead once again. I hope that we can finally have some fun this time. Yes. And I heard that Miss Robin is going to host the new opening ceremony in the plaza. <laughs> Let's head over and take a look. Uh, isn't that Montana? Right. And the other classmates? They're back! <laughs> Hi, Montana. Are you feeling all right? Yo, Ninja March. Huh? What? <laughs> hmm? Don't you know? This is the most popular meme right now. It originated from Mr. Rekka's latest work, the Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions. Nah, <laughs> of course you might have been uh, That guy. I don't think he's paid our salary yet. Uh, by the way, Montana, do you still like Slumber Nana Monkey? Slumber Nana Monkey? <laughs> That's so last year. Last year? Just yesterday at Dreamflux Reef, you were. Dreamflux Reef? <laughs> Where is that? <laughs> uh, all right, March 7th. The latest trend now is the Cosmic Ninjutsu Inscriptions! You have to keep up with the trends! Alright. I'm going to the Ninja Appreciation Society's event now. Do you want to come along? Uh, no thanks. I'm heading to the opening ceremony of the Dreamlight Anniversary. Are we really sure that we did not spread another uh, mnemonic uh, virus again? <laughs> Then farewell, Ninja March! 
I'm a medic. That's Ninja Ruri to you. Farewell. Uh, so is this what they mean by the rise and fall of trends and the Penacony? Uh, I guess so. Son, I've thought it through. If you're too tired, let's let's just return to our hometown. No, Dad. I'm not going back. I've earned a fortune during the anniversary celebration. Even though I don't do well in my theory courses, I can still become a salesperson in the future and make a great living. Just watch, Dad. I'll be sure to make a name for myself in Panacone. Good luck with that. Son, as your dad, perhaps I should also try a little harder. It seems like Richie and his father have figured it out. That's good. Uh, let's go and talk to her. Ah, her. Mm, Shalika, the desserts that you made are so delicious. Uh, give me one more. Give me one more. Um, uh, fellow students, there's enough for everyone, so. Please queue up! Shalika, you're simply a genius of dessert making. I really like the raspiness in her voice. Just like this, like a bit of like raspy element while also uh, um, being like kind of quiet and muted. I really kind of like it. Thank you. Maybe becoming a patissier after graduating doesn't sound too bad either. <laughs> it seems like Shalika has also found her own way of the ninja. Is the other one my dad's left? Ah, yeah, of course. Nana Bloomchan, I heard you're going to be featured in Mr. Rekka's new film. <laughs> I'm oh, going to be I see a birdie. I'm sure you'll become a superstar one day. Can I get your autograph in advance? Uh, of course. Here, take it. Thank you. But who's this? Gabbana? That's my name. I'm not going to use a stage name anymore. So, if you're going to be my fan, please remember that my name is Gabbana. <laughs> All right. Nana Bloom Chan, or should I say Gavana, has gained some recognition. Birdie, come here. There's all the treasure chests I just blatantly missed. Oh, here we go, Mr. Yang. Himeko, Mr. Yang, you're here as well? That's right. <laughs> we heard the anniversary celebration had uh, been delayed, so we wrapped up the conference early and came straight here to see if we could catch the fun. So, how was it? Did you enjoy your time on campus? Oh, we didn't just have like a whole mess to clean up while you were away, so. Is that so? Sounds like student life wasn't boring after all. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Sometimes the most memorable things are the accidents of our youth. I guess so. Look, Miss Robin is here. Hello, students. I'm very happy to be hosting the Dreamlight anniversary this year. Oh gosh, it really is Miss Robin! The opening ceremony this year is much better than last time! Hold on, who was the speaker last time? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. A long time ago, I also spent some time studying at Paperfold University. So... I can be considered an alumnus of the school. Paperfold University back then was just like how it is right now. 
There was a lack of freedom. Exams were a source of headaches. We had plenty of homework, and our thesis defense had stringent requirements. <laughs> well, it can't be helped since this place bears the burden of training the future of Penacony. The annual Dreamlight Anniversary is the opportunity for students to temporarily toss their troubles aside. However, the anniversary celebrations will come to an end, just like how we'll eventually awaken from our dreams. But there is a type of dream that we will never awaken from, and should never awaken from. And that is the dreams woven by our highest ambitions. Mm -hmm. Some students wish to create beautiful objects, while others desire to lead amazing lives. There are some who even wish to become a better person. These are all amazing dreams. In our lives, dreams act as beacons that guide us forward. Once we have lit up the beacon, we may choose to rest at any time. This does not signify that we have given up. For as long as the light of the beacon can be seen, we will have the courage to restart our journey. I hope that all of you will be able to find your dreams at Paperfold University and will dedicate your lives to realizing them. It is because of your sweet dreams that you can break color. It is because of your ideals that you can embrace freedom. Welcome to Dreamlight Anniversary. Color your dreams, free your ideals. All right, so we're gonna change along. Do we get in on a party, or is this Despite it? Despite the similarities to oh. the evil realm, there are no clues here. Yo, Ninja Gama. Oh, how I wish that in the next film you can call me something better, my wonderful actor. Are you alone? Each ninja has their own prey. Silvergun Shura only came to repay a favor. After which he returned to his own hunt. Go, oh, I think he's also just to show something like Z, right now. <laughs> After helping me shoot such an exciting film, I'm here to hand you your remuneration. A reward won't be necessary. I'm only acting according to my way of the ninja. Riches are not what I desire. Don't say that. I'm sure you'll be very interested in my remuneration. After all, this remuneration is... about where Dr. Primitive went. Oh. And we don't get to here, of course, right? Huh. Uh. The power of ninjutsu here is quite dim. I shall unleash the vibrant colors of Devil ninjutsu. Alright, then. Guess no... Ooh, she actually loses color. Interesting. Um, yeah, guess no real to where primitive friend for us. Sadly, but hey. What else is this through with that story part? I also think we'll end it here for now. I should just go for all that stuff now. Not gonna lie, I like the rapper part of the story, but I really dislike the monkey part. <laughs> For like 80% of like the flavor of this story part, it kind of annoyed me. <laughs> For the other 20%, it actually quite amused me. And it made me actually quite interested. And that was my need due to rapper's character. And I think this is like the uh, event quest, right? Yep. We go ahead and look into the air event the next time around. I think he's like, uh, Simon's we can actually do real quick. 
Because it just locks that. Because I think those are like the daily ones for passive stuff. I'm just gonna knock these real quick. But yeah, the, the, the rubber event you will go ahead and do next uh, to next time around. Yes, it is what I think it was. Blop, 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 blop. Uh, blop. Confirm assignment. Let's do the mouse. It's faster. Easy. Good. Because then I can like this do easily off stream because there's like nothing interesting to it. But there will be a I think a lot more interesting part for this one. Maybe also we'll have a bit more of a story part. Because that we will be doing that next time. So let's see samurai to raid. Uh, no, not really. No, not really. Or do we want to go for uh... mm -hmm. Let's go over him. We're this time around, we are raiding somewhere in them again. And also the one who's swimming star rail. So yeah. I have a search. There you go. And you will start the raid. Good. With that said, I hope you enjoyed it. I already said what I think of this uh, of the story part. <laughs> Just as much as the fever dream as the one was with, um, you know, Argenti and like the, the, the us being swallowed by a big galactic insect or whatever it was. <laughs> <sighs> I've done for Rebba and Doc, uh, Mr. Rekka, which were like, quite, like two quite interesting characters. I really put that really not in like the story part, but hey. I don't know, I still enjoyed it, and I hope you did too, especially watching along with Bream. If that was the case, leave support. If you think there's stuff I can improve, leave feedback. Other than that, be nice or on the raid, spread some love, and then be kind, and we will be seeing each other next time. Until then, bye bye.